Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening wherever you are in the world. You are watching the GDQ Hot Fix. Today's show, Game Masters, by your host, me, Fan underscore TV. Pleasure to meet you all. And we have today, I would describe as one of the games of all time, Donkey Kong 64. <laughs> Before we get into that, AGDQ 2023 VODs are now up on the Games Done Quick YouTube channel. Check out the playlist and let us know what you enjoyed watching the most. And if you want to follow what Games Done Quick is up to, use the exclamation point links in Twitch chat for all things GDQ. Frostpital's 2023 prize submissions are open as well, so go to gamesdonequick.com for more info or use exclamation point prizes in Twitch chat to submit your prizes. I am joined here with three of the developers of Donkey Kong 64 Randomizer that we're going to be showcasing for you today. We got Tudos, who will be running the game, and then we also have Balam and Larouk from the development side of things to you know help provide some insight here. How are you doing, everybody? It is a wonderful day. <laughs> it sure is. I'm doing fantastic. Doing great. Excellent. So DK64, you know, it, it's... It's kind of infamous for you know how it performs and you know how it runs and kind of like barely working on it in Nintendo 64 at all. And I just wanted to you know ask uh, Larouk here, how did you go about like initial development of the randomizer? How how did you get this to work at all? <laughs> it's a it's a tricky question to field there because so much of this randomizer is uh, built on knowledge that has been accumulated over just years and years of monkey science. Uh, <laughs> Balam at, Bal at the forefront of it, digging into and just trying to figure out this game and how the heck it clicks because, well, it's it's well known that this game is uh, not easy to emulate. There are a lot of technical issues because it's just a little bit different from all the other popular N64 games and so it, it doesn't play nice a lot of the time. And so there's a lot of, a lot of digging that goes into it and fixing the weirdness and the, the, the rough edges to try and, to try and make this work. Um, yeah, I think I think Balam could field that a little more. He's he's got more more years on this than I do for sure. Yeah, is there anything particular that was like something you had to like overcome to get this to a playable state? So so my role on the team largely is that of handling logic and hints. Mm -hmm. So I'm not real. I'm not necessarily oh, for, 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 for the Balam, yeah. of, for, for Balam. Oh yeah. Um, I think the biggest one is that there's a lot of hidden anti tamper coats and. There's a lot of really weird elements of the game which just don't work if you uh, modify it. So modifying it, you have to also turn off all the anti-tamper codes and just a lot of weird behavior that we have to just get around. <laughs> so kind of like you're fighting DK64 itself <laughs> a lot of the times. Yes. Um, so today we are showcasing something because we've had DK64 rando uh, on Hotfix a couple times in the past, but never quite like this. We're doing what's called item randomizer. And I guess, Tudos, what does that entail if uh, we've seen like previous iterations of the randomizer or even a vanilla DK64 playthrough? Yeah, Martin, everyone. So basically, if you watched a Spike and Kyperdu runs on this channel before on GDQ, they did what we like, I guess we refer to it as version one or like level order randomizer. So it would randomize the order of the levels, like the golden bananas you need to get into each level through the B locker, what keys you needed, how many bananas you needed to fight the bosses. So it was almost just like a, I guess a different progressed version of the vanilla game basically. This changes it up by randomizing all your moves, all your Kongs, all of your like banana fairies, crowns. All of that goes into the item pool and gets shuffled amongst each other as well. Oh my So goodness. not only do we have level order randomizer happening here, we also have the item shuffled around. So like it there's hundreds and hundreds of new locations where things can be. So like this is gonna get even more crazy. <laughs> wow, so you're saying like, you know, usually Diddy Kong is like found in Jungle Japes. Are you saying like something else could be in that cage? Oh yeah, it could just be like oh. a gold banana. Like, oh, I mean, goodness. there's only a gold banana there, but there could be a gold <laughs> banana in there. Uh, but like Diddy could be on just some random golden banana check in like Crystal Caves or something. Oh, that's, that sounds awful uh, to, <laughs> to, to, to figure out how to do. So. I don't want to keep the audience from this any longer. I need to see this train wreck unfold real time. Tudas, are you ready to go? Um, 
Hold on one second. Apparently, I'm feeding my webcam mic to the GDQ feed. I'm not sure how that happened. I apologize. Hold on a second. <laughs> All right. Well, while two DOS is handling a little bit of audio issues, we'll get that to take for more time to stall. Larick. Uh, Judas was talking about uh, you know all the different item locations. Would you have an estimate of because you wrote the logic or have done a big contribution to the logic? How many like different locations throughout the game are, are we like looking at here for major item spots? I've seen many locations throughout my time. There are so many of them. <laughs> it varies a little bit by seed to seed, but there are probably in the ballpark of 500 or so major item locations. They can, and most of those are shuffleable. Mm -hmm. And the thing with DK64 is that it's such a it's such a dense game. There's so much going on at any given moment because the maps are fairly sizable, but 500 checks, that's a lot of yeah. checks. They're everywhere in these levels. This is so dense. This action does not stop on, on, on these seeds. It is, in, it is intense. It is a fight to keep track of everything happening simply because you're just checking everything so often. It's just, you have to quickly check off. Oh, I found that. Yep, I found that. Okay, we're going here. We need to look here, 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 here. Oh, now I have access to this. It's all over the place. With that many checks in play on these maps, it's crazy. Oh, wow. Uh, so for Balam, this is this is another thing that, you know, if you've never seen DK64 randomizer at all, there's this feature that was added in called Quick Swap, where you can swap your Kongs at any point. And I wondered if you had any insight on this, because it's, it's a magical change to the game. It's kind of changing everything, <laughs> how it works. Yeah, it is a really solid change. So I've got a shout out, uh, Retro Ben and Isotage. They were the almost founders of this feature called Tag Anywhere, where if you just press a D-pad button, it will change your Kong on the fly. And so over, I want to say the space of like six months, we iterated this feature again and again, getting it better and better. And you know, a lot of people say that the big problem with DK64 is you have to backtrack to the tag bell to go and change a Kong, then go back again to wherever you wanted to go to. With Tag Anywhere, it's literally a button press and it's all solved for you. So it is, it's the one feature which a lot of people have said, you go into it, you use it, you can never go back to vanilla DK64 because vanilla DK64 doesn't have Tag Anywhere at all. Awesome. One of the other one, one of the other weird quirks of Tag Anywhere is the first version or the first version of it we had in the randomizer. There was still like a delay on it. Once you picked up an item, there was like a little bit of a delay to make sure that everything saved correctly. But eventually, you know, Blam the Wizard found a way to shorten that to one frame. Oh. So it's just one frame after picking something up, you can then immediately swap just as you need. Incredible. And the difference was enormous. I think anyone who's played this game can attest to that. that the, the before times where it just makes so much of a difference. So forget the tag barrels, even just like, even just a second of having to wait a tag is just so crucial to this game. It is indeed. And I am getting word that Tudos is ready to go. So are we ready to go Tudos? Yes, hello. I yes. think the correct mic is coming in now. <laughs> excellent, excellent. All right, let's go ahead and get this party started. Tudos, whenever you're ready, go ahead and give us a countdown. All right, sure. And I guess really quick before we begin, if we can um, come to the main menu here, like you'll notice there's something a little bit different about DK here. So something's already randomized, as you can tell right off the bat. Yeah, was he bathing um, in some banana then, juice there? I, I guess so. <laughs> And then um, if we go to the file select screen, you also know, notice it's a little different here. Um, it'll show you what moves you start off with, how many Kongs you start off with, how many keys you start off with. It's just a good way to keep track of the things you have. And this is a screen, of course, is also available in game as well. So we did make tracking what items you have a lot easier than it did in vanilla. This is a, another perfect example of how you have to sort of hack the game to make it work. There are normally three save files in this game. In order to make the item randomizer work, there is now one. Uh, I believe uh, Ocarina of Time does the same thing. Yep. A similar, a similar thing where you have to condense files. Mm -hmm. that's, that's super right. interesting. I just, everything to make this work. Tudos, sounds like you're ready. Yes, I am ready to go. I think the chat is too, so go ahead and count me down. All right, we're going to go from five, four, three, two, one, go. It's banana time. All right, there is going to be a lot to explain as we start off here. Why don't you go ahead and... Uh, Kind of explain what we're seeing so far. So I already just tagged a DK for one. 
So step one, we have to take into account what level lobbies we Is have access to. Is this even randomized? <laughs> oh my god. Currently, we only have access to lobbies one, three, and four based on our keys. Okay, let's see. We got our first hint. Factory Chunky Barrel by Arcade is way of the horde. There will be something there that is important that we need to beat the seed. Yeah, he's saying Ocarina of Time randomizer is kind of like the way of the hero type thing. That. It's the way of the horde, because it's a banana horde. It makes perfect sense. Good stuff. Anyway, you were saying. So that, that path hint, those path hint styles saying something in DK Isle will be on the way of K rule. That means something in DK Isle will lead us to uh, a move that we'll, we'll need to beat K rule. And it may be that saxophone pad. That saxophone pad, er. Uh, yeah, that saxophone pad is an aisle, so that could possibly lead to it. It would be in a different zone, but it might be that one. All right, I, I uh, gotta stop you right now. This this is not the chunky I know on screen. It is so much better. What happened here? How is this working? <laughs> uh, chunky took a little bit of inspiration from Funky. I think that's all that needs to be said. <laughs> so this is the... Uh, costume that is used for approximately two seconds in the game, which is the uh, disco version of Chunky in the DK rap. Uh, now, this model is a bit tough to get working uh, for a number of technical reasons, but with a little bit of poking around, which is kind of just how the randomizer was made, was just poking a lot of things until it worked, we can now have Disco Chunky replacing Chunky in the game. It's time to get Funky Chat in front of Funkies. <laughs> Another thing that's randomized? Enemies. Uh, this crown is normally three beavers. <laughs> there's, bee a, is there's a so very slow. slow <laughs> it's a very slow moving bee. You may pick up speed. I've, I've found that bees in these crowns are very volatile. They can either move at you with molasses, like they're swimming in molasses, or they will just be the fastest thing you've ever seen. <laughs> what are the flavor of these water? Oh bullets? my gosh. Oh, coming in. <laughs> That's what exactly Elrock was talking about. That thing just like swooped in. Yeah, the the melon color is also random. Maybe a a dragon fruit or something. A red exterior and a blue interior. Some sort of alien fruit. Yeah, maybe it tastes like cotton candy. I wouldn't be opposed to that. Anyway, this like uh, everyone say, this is an item randomizer. Normally, you get one of the crowns, like the tournament crown. I forget what their full name is, like challenge crown, whatever. From winning this, but this time, there's a golden banana. How many of those do we need, by the way? Uh, so the goal, I guess, you can in the on the website where you make uh, randomizer seeds yourself. You can set it to pretty much whatever you want as long as it's logically possible. Um, for today, we set it to 60. We thought that was a pretty reasonable amount. And th th just to clarify, it's 60 gold bananas to get into Hideout Helm in order to get the key 8 there to fight K. Rule. Um, the key locations bananas. can be randomized, but they're not today. They're, you still have to fight the bosses for the keys. Yeah, these the, colored uh, banana spots, really quick. I don't remember there being bananas right there. Did, did you do something? Did you do something to these bananas, these colored bananas? A very bad man did something. <laughs> I believe he's in chat right now. <laughs> Mr. Bismuth, no, no, notorious YouTuber Bismuth, made, he took the time to catalog an enormous number of coordinates to place an unbelievable amount of colored banana locations randomly across the game. Uh, there's the algorithm will pick up, um, about a hundred for each Kong, and those will be the ones that it places, and those will be the ones you'll find. Do you have a rough and idea how many locations there are? Oh, oh dear, I have no idea. <laughs> it's, it's it's about eight thousand. Eight thousand. Oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> I kind of I kind of wish Bismuth put a thousand more so I can make an over nine thousand joke. Just a, you know, a throwback, but too bad. So a pretty critical pickup there. Monkey Port is an item we will need to beat the game. Uh, we'll need that. Oh, and just right off the bat, we got diving. 
Oh man, diving. Diving is actually a move you get from the training barrels in the vanilla game. What? And in uh, standard settings, you start with it, and it gives you the ability to dive underwater. But sure enough, you can I, shuffle that into I the pool as no well. I have no idea. That, that's monstrous. Like, what? <laughs> uh, there, there's so much to unpack here. Welcome to bonus stage. Yeah, for those who don't know, so there's four training moves in the game, and if you don't complete the training barrels, you won't be able to use the move at all. So one of them, as uh, Elvrock said, is uh, diving. So you won't be able to press Z to dive unless you have diving. Uh, there's one to throw oranges, so you won't be able to throw oranges without it. There's one to pick up boulders, so without it, Pressing B when you're next to a boulder does nothing. He won't pick it up. He just doesn't know how to do it. And then the final one is Vine Swinging, uh, which makes Vine spawn. So if you don't have that move, Vines won't spawn in the game. Yeah, I saw them grayed out earlier. Now I know why. Uh, note notable is that barrels also includes TNT barrels that are used on many bosses. So. Being able to pick up barrels is a surprisingly critical upgrade. <laughs> and considering that I believe you have keys on bosses as well, Tudos, uh, that is a very important upgrade to find. So it should oh show up fairly early. But... The spider is in my way. Okay, there we go. <laughs> um, so sp sp the spider spawned in like the really giant enemy spot here. So yeah, giant spider. Good fun. fun. So, yeah, those spiders show up exactly on the spider boss in Forest, and they are now all over the place. One thing I don't think we talked about, because we are collecting these colored bananas, but each boss, boss room, has like a, a random amount of colored bananas you need to collect to access it versus the vanilla range. And I'm guessing you customized that to or tuned it to something you, you preferred, but I think I saw like 47 Ooh, colored bananas for this one. 58. Okay, I was off by a little bit. Don't worry about it. So the trough and scoff poor locations are randomized too. That's not a normal location for that. And I also want to throw in there as well as we actually hard set the banana metal requirements from 75 to 30. So in order to check the item on the banana metal, you only need to get 30 bananas. Because those of course are shuffled too. Shockwave being on Chunky's Jeep's metal. All right, heading into our first boss here. And again, um, this is going to always be a key spawn. So like, you know you need to fight these bosses that um, you need to get the keys from so you can get all eight to fight Kiri Rule. Um, if we, we did shovel the keys though, you can see that we have a key flow up there to show you what item you get if you beat the boss. It's worth noting that whatever boss you run into will be beatable. So if this were a boss that required barrels, that would tell us that, oh, oh, we need to go find barrels and it's available. Also, just as an FYI, uh, if you are prone to seizures, I'd probably look away for the next two minutes. It's a slight uh, unfortunate thing in dev right now. So just as a seizure warning for those who are a bit more prone to it. Oh my god, this is the worst boss to fight with only one melon. Okay. Mm. <laughs> yeah, this one you don't need any special things. And normally this is fought with Lanky, I think in the Gloomy Galleon of the vanilla game. But really, you know, anybody can drive the boat. <laughs> so, we did have to make one mod. Yeah. We did have to make one modification to this game, and I think Balam can explain that one. Yeah, so the way the game works is that the game has uh, a speed for the seal race in this uh, level, in Galleon, and then a speed for Puffdos. And normally uh, DK does the seal race and uh, Lanky does the boss. So the way the game is programmed is that if you are using uh, DK, it will use a slow speed for the boat and everyone else has a high speed. This makes DK really tough to fight Puffdos with, so we changed it so if you're in Seal Race, you'll have the slow speed, and if you're in Puffdos, you'll have the high speed, regardless of what Kong you're in. Also, for those who uh, are fight so sensitive, you can now look back at stream. They didn't need to see that boss. That Puffdos is so ugly. Ew. <laughs> Sounds ugly. Oh my goodness. It's so gross. 
There's a rainbow coin in there, which is a little clue that the dirt patch items that you get normally with Shockwave, they can now have random items as well. Those dirt patches around the world are now relevant. And because we found Shockwave, who knows? Who knows what we'll find? Looks like I need five more tiny bananas so I can get the banana metal check. There we go. <laughs> What's a Nintendo coin? <laughs> Um, I just that. have the Nintendo and Rare Rare coin door turned on this, or I guess already pre-opened the seat, so it, effectively that doesn't do anything for me. It is very dangerous to leave that door closed because then you have to hunt down the, those coins and they could be anywhere. It would be like the light arrows, but there's two of them and worse. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm just making sure I get all my checks in before I leave. Now... Are we going to be seeing maybe the, the DK Arcade? Mm, maybe. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> it, takes a, it takes a few things to get there, but it's it's not out of the question. Yeah. So because Nintendo Coin's in the pool, that means that Arcade is in the pool. Um, I guess going off that... Slightly related note. Um, if you remember back to the Puff Toss boss, boss fight, I only did three phases. Ooh, we got saxophone. Um, I only did three phases, and that's because we have a shorter boss fights option, which is kind of handy for people who don't want to be fighting bosses all day. Yeah, the bosses are quite lengthy. Does this apply to K rule as well? Uh, yes. Um, what do I want to do? Okay, we're going here. Um, so remember the hint I got was that the saxophone pad in Isles was, it had something for me, right? It was Way of the Horde. I'm going to go check that now because I got both Monkey Port and Saxophone Slam in Jungle Drapes. Oh, by the way, flying golden <laughs> banana. <laughs> Take a photo of the golden banana, goes into your inventory. Sure does. Could, because that's got to be something else that's random. Could Ooh. hypothetically one of the Kongs be flying around as a banana fairy? Ooh, barrel throwing. Yes, they can. <laughs> I really hope these. I know it's unlikely, <laughs> but gosh, I, I want to see that happen. Just Lanky is just flying around somewhere. You got to take a picture. Ooh. That'd be fantastic. Make it happen, Rando. I mean, the Rando's already decided. It's not changing on the fly as much as we like to think. The Rando has a mind of its own and does that. But I can help. Um, there's a... There's been a lot of discussion about like how how does the game know that we can access certain things, and I think that's a good. While I'm checking these aisles checks here, I think it's a good um, tangent into, I guess how logic works in this game, and I guess randomizers in general. If you want to take that, L Rock. So from a from a broad perspective, you can think of the game as a sort of graph. All the math nerds in chat, please, you will you'll love this. This is amazing. It's it's a it's a graph of nodes and there's connections between the nodes. And you're essentially just traveling this graph. And your connections are gated by certain items. So for example, if you're going from aisles and you want to go up to the top of the creme aisle where that sax pad was, you need monkey port to travel that connection. And between nodes, right, the node being the sax pad, you would have your barrels that you just found there. So if you think of it like that, it just becomes a maze of sorts to travel and find the, the right requirements to travel between the nodes and pick things up. It's a it's a really interesting problem to, to sort out. That's, that's what keeps me coming back to keep coding. <laughs> it's so cool. Yeah, and having... I guess for others who are interested in being... Really, they want more out of their randomizer. You can... We have a no logic saying, so we can completely ignore the logic that we put in. At your own risk. <laughs> now, this game is... This game... I like to say that this game has optional walls, so you can get away with a lot with no logic, but, but not everything. Yeah. <laughs> Writing down some more hints there. I'm, I'm glad we got a randomized level for this one. This is normally the angry Aztec level, I think is what it's called. But now it's the, the factory. Imagine that. Proof that we actually randomized the game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if anything else led you astray, I was like, is this even randomized? No, definitely not. This is just your standard so, regular DK64 playthrough. There you go. There's the proof. So, so here's, a, here's a pretty 
critical hint. That tells us that the hideout helm, which we need to complete at the end of the game, will require Chunky, oh. then Diddy, then Donkey, which means in order to beat this game, we will need to find the triangle, the guitar, and the bongos at some point. So we're cutting out of there just because we didn't have enough golden bananas collected. Just one short, unfortunately. Yeah, big sad. Mm -hmm. That's a pretty that's a pretty high requirement for a level two. Yeah, that mm -hmm. doesn't two. roll that high. <laughs> Jeez. I'm trying to think of what I can do here. Let's just check in here. I guess I can turn in a tiny blueprint. I do did get one of those earlier. Essex level three. Factory in Essex switch places. Um, there are repeat hints, as you can see there, um, just for redundancy purposes, as well as... Oh, and you forgot a check. Or I guess you forgot to check something. We'll just make sure you have this hint. Oh, nice. How oh. considerate of the, the random characters. That's another really important hint. So that one, like telling you the helm order, this will also tell you what K rule phases you need to do and in what order. So um, that's really important because each K rule phase has a certain amount of moves and a certain selection of moves that you need in order to beat that phase. So Two Dose now knows that since Chunky is in the sequence, he will need Hunky Chunky, Primate Punch, Gorilla Gone, and also the Slam Upgrade uh, in order to beat that round of K rule. Was that Chunky? I thought it was Tiny Diddy Donkey. Did I misread that? Did I misread that? <laughs> Chat, can you help us? <laughs> Wait, what happened? Did you, did you write down the K rule order? Uh, it's Tiny Diddy DK. Okay. Okay. So that's that's a considerably fewer requirements, um, fortunately. Um, so for Tiny, we need Mini Monkey and Feather. We have Feather already. For Diddy, we need Rocket Barrel and Peanut. We have Rocket Barrel already. And for Donkey, we need nothing. So actually a pretty, pretty low requirement here rule. Now that said, low requirements does not necessarily mean short seed. Those items could be anywhere. Yeah, a lot of the variability in length just comes from how deep it goes with certain items. How evil is the seed feeling today? And uh, uh, many people who have played this can attest that the seeds can get very evil very quickly, so we shall see. Like, it is possible for an item to be behind the 20 fairy door in Fairy Island. Now, we do have a setting where it, you can change how many fairies are required. Uh, I don't know if Two Dose has changed that, but it can uh, be I believe, that evil. I believe I set it to 10, so it's not too bad. But I haven't found any fairies yet, so maybe I just jinxed myself. I don't know. <laughs> well, <laughs> and then even still, you may need the camera. That's in the world somewhere. Who knows? I don't even know how I, I play a number of randomizers, even stuff with like, you know, pot shuffle and Ocarina of Time, get into thousands of checks. But this is one game I've yet to crack myself. There's just so much stuff, so many dependencies, so many things to think on, so many Kong, so many balloons, so many moves, 200 gold bananas. Oh. So I'm impressed. It's definitely, it's, def it, it's definitely not simple to get through. It's, it's something that. You know, you kind of have to, you can sort of ease your way into it. Because the game is so dense, you just will stumble into things just running around. You'll just find stuff. It, it takes it takes a lot of knowledge to go really quickly, but you don't need a, a lot of knowledge to just play the game. And for everything else, the, the, the hope is that hints will help you, you know, find the important items you'll need to help you along. There are three known Way of the Horde locations in this level, so we'll see what we come across. So someone in chat has asked about whether one-on-one seeds uh, are possible. Elrook, I guess you can uh, talk about that as the logic guy. So we take great pains to make sure that every seed can be completed 101%. Uh, what you might have to do to that is up to the up to the logic, but we, we guarantee that it is possible, every single seed. 
And if you decide to head on over to DK64Randomizer.com and try this out yourself at your own leisure, and you come in up with a seat that cannot be done, I'm sure you know, El Rock would love to hear about it. I need to know. Mm -hmm. I must know. <laughs> that that way it doesn't something happen again. Is, something is amiss. <laughs> Strange things are afoot in uh, the yeah, it's worth noting that this this whole item randomizer shuffling everything into the world is a, a, a relatively recent development, so it's not, you know, without its bugs or stray issues and, you know, things that get found, we fix them. That's what we do. That's so awesome. Hope. <laughs> really quick, I love this song. Oh. Yeah. You're good. So something else which uh, Tudos will be looking out for is uh, something evil lurking within the game, ice traps. There are ten of them placed within the game, and something will happen if Tudos accidentally runs into one. What? I didn't know there were ice traps in this game. Are you have any more surprises for me? I mean... We added it a couple days ago. <laughs> <laughs> this is hot off the press just for you, Jim. Just for GDQ. I was gonna ask, like, is this randomized? Is this randomized? And it seems like pretty much everything. So I'm gonna ask, is there anything that's not randomized? <laughs> um, like we haven't like, what's what's a good example? Like, so there's like gun and other switches in this game that can be randomized, but but we don't have those randomized yet. I yes, guess is the best the way to describe word, it. Yeah. Yes, yeah. <laughs> There's also, when you turn in blueprints, you're guaranteed to go to gold bananas. The, the reward turn in is not yet random. <laughs> I'm, um, I'm imagining, yeah, you, you go in there and your DK comes out of the tube at the top. <laughs> yeah. Well, wh one of the problems is that because you can collect eight and turn in eight and up to eight blueprints at once, how do you communicate if you got eight different items yeah, to the player? Good point. What, 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 do you, what do you show them? Like, there's a lot of like, oh, yeah, sure, we can randomize it. But like from a game development perspective, is this a good idea to randomize this now? You're actually stopping like to ask yourselves if we should. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to get that. Yeah, you definitely have to stop and ask yourself, is it really a good idea? <laughs> the answer is usually no, it's not, but we'll randomize it anyway. <laughs> All right, moving. Other randomizers, other randomizers have no short of crazy settings to experiment with, but in the end, the, you know, the, the race settings usually don't take into account all of them. But hey, they're fun. That's what, uh, that's what the randomizer is all about. Just good, clean fun. I'm going to pose a question to chat here, who uh, I hope is having just the most wonderful time seeing this uh, this game and all it has to offer. Now, you, you've seen how many things are randomized. Is there yeah! something? No! <laughs> is there something you would love to see? You know, we have three of the developers in the call right now. It's like, you know, DK64 randomizer could really use this. In the words of Spike, this game was programmed with duct tape. <laughs> this game was put together with duct tape, I believe is what he says. In a cave. In with a, a cave, box of scraps. Yes. Maybe a little bit of Elmer's glue here and there. <laughs> oh, there's a fairy. <laughs> Um, so there was a question in chat, why did I go back just for that metal, even though the metals don't necessarily do anything? Um, I guess I do want to throw in there that they kind of do do, they kind of do something. Um, normally there are 15 required in order to, ooh, we need that, but I can't get it. Um, anyway, there are 15 required normally in order to do jetpack which has the rare coin check, of course. Um, in this game, or I guess in this randomizer seed, we adjusted it down to only 10 medals is required. On top of that, um, the normal 
thing at the end of that Baboon Blast is just like a DK star that unlocks the DK Arcade. Um, what we did was we made it so that um, instead of doing Arcade twice, we just put the first round of Arcade completion, that reward, into that Baboon Blast course. And then the when you do DK Arcade, you only need to do the second round for the Nintendo coin check. That's, that's Interesting. Nice. We have. We, Go ahead. So, so worth noting, we were hinted that this location is way of the horde. So now we know that Hunky Chunky is required for something. It's not a part of the K Rule fight, though. So there are Hunky Chunky checks out in the world that we got to go keep an eye out for. I do see a question, Chad. This is a pretty interesting one about the N64 expansion pack for this. And I'm not sure the full story behind it, but I know at some point they had to include the expansion pack with this game at release. And I think what the developer said, and you know, you three can correct me if I'm wrong on this, is you know, it would crash a lot without it. And they didn't know exactly why, but having the expansion pack in there made the game run more stable so they included it with every game so it would actually work <laughs> so Fant, I've, wait, before you go blam fant i have another question for you do you want to have another game masters show where blam rants the entire time about the mythical bugs that were it was fixed by the expansion pack <laughs> oh absolutely you can go do it right now here we go <laughs> So to keep it very short and sweet, the whole expansion pack bug myth is a myth. Um, it wasn't to fix a game-breaking bug. The game-breaking bug at the end of development was to do with um, something based on console revision um, that they managed to fix at the end, but it was nothing to do with the expansion pack. Um, in fact, Nintendo told the Rareware developers at the start of development, use the expansion pack and make the most use of it that you can. So, I'm sorry to burst a few childhoods here, but that story is a complete myth. Thank you so, so much, Balan. Appreciate it. 4,000 GDQ watchers now can spread the word. Okay, I think I have all the uh, banana medals I can get for now. Obviously, I don't have the other two Kongs, but just want to make sure I get everything on my first pass in case I miss a goal mode item by accident or something. Um, let's buy this banana. So I guess kind of my goal right now is I just need to think about what I do and don't have access to um, in regards to my, um, I guess, one, my progression to my um, hints. Um, like, for instance, I was hinted that Factory Candy Chunky has something. Um, well, obviously that was hunky chunky, so I don't necessarily need to do much more with that. Um, I was also ended here that the factory, um, the barrel, the bonus game that's next to the DK arcade, that also has something that was hinted, but I can't get there because you need primate punch. So um, I did peek that earlier, but there was nothing that I can do to get it. I'll have to come back later. And also, there was a we saw a move for DK inside one of the tiny gold bananas by DK Arcade. Can't get that either. Um, chat, can you help me count, please? Thanks. Is this pattern now part of the puzzle shuffle? I guess. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'd answer, uh, but I have to concentrate. This is hard. Counting is very difficult. We'll leave Tudos to do it and not talk loudly while he's uh, while he's counting. It's very important. Yeah, the tiles around here have been shuffled amongst each other. Uh, somewhat. It's not entirely random, but it is mostly. It feels random. Hey, that's yeah, basic. So basically, the corners of this puzzle can't be shuffled for technical reasons, but it's part of the puzzle shuffle. Everything else can be. There are several other puzzles that are shuffled throughout this game. Hopefully, we run into a few more. Yeah, good thing you weren't lurk looking at chat there, Tito's, because uh, I will say their counting ability would not have helped you. Oh, I 
trust chat. There's, they, they always try to do what's best for the streamer. Yeah, we can call it that. Thank you, chat. <laughs> um, you, you tried your best. Bolt, Blam or Elrock, <laughs> do you want anyone to talk about what we call FTA or free trade agreement here? Uh, sure. So there's a setting in Randomizer, new to uh, 2.0, which is what Two Dice is playing, called Free Trade Agreement. And the entire premise is that in the vanilla game, certain uh, collectibles are locked to only being uh, collectible by certain Kongs. In FTA, for the most part, that's not the case. So you can pick up a golden banana with any Kong. Uh, blueprints, any Kong, uh, medals, like any Kong, that kind of stuff. The only two collectibles left out of it, for technical reasons, are the uh, small colored bananas and also the uh, small banana coins. Everything else can be picked up by any Kong if you so wish. It's a setting, so it's up to you in terms of whether you include that in your randomizer. That is a good question that was brought up from chat here. Are there still randomized five golden bananas per Kong per level? No, they are shuffled all over the place. It is not quite so clean. You're not going to get a super clean pause screen in full item rando because due to the nature of how things are shuffled, you could end up with uh, several, several more or, or more or fewer GBs in a, in a level for any given Kong. You could intentionally take your take the great pains with free trade agreement to pick up every single GB with Donkey, if you so desire. And the counter will account for it. The counter will handle it. So Aztec tends to be a pretty rough level if you don't have Diddy. Um, Diddy is required to open the big door right next to me here um, with that guitar gazum pad I just showed you up there. Um, so most of this level is actually going to be locked to me. Um, I can go into here, but that's about it. Most of this level is actually out of logic even because there's no, there's no way to get past those... Uh those sand pits at the start without taking damage, and that, that is not something the logic likes. So there's either ponytail twirl to cross that gap, or vines somewhere very likely accessible. Somewhere. We don't know where. Could be could be that's what Hunky Chunky is for. It could be, I don't know. Well, maybe that's we'll find out. Ready. Maybe we'll just stay out of logic and never find out. That's, that's the joy of randomizing. <laughs> Well, hopefully we find out because you do need vines for the last level in the game. So that is that is definitely that is another item that is very important to find. Ah, there we go. Oh yeah, yeah, getting into hideout helm. Mm-hmm. And it's also worth noting, uh, myself and Elrock, uh, as well as Two Dose, obviously, have no idea where anything is in terms of. We haven't looked at the spoiler log. We don't know where anything is. We are going in just as blind as you guys are. Who knows where Diddy is? Gold banana just in here. That oh is no! <laughs> <laughs> that's no, that's no ordinary golden banana. <laughs> so the tra ice traps in this game, the gold, they're golden bananas. They spin the opposite direction of what a normal golden banana spins as. They're slightly kind of like a green tint in color. Oh, Something like that. Great. Yeah, and they hit you with the, the multiplayer effect that freezes you for a second. Was that a custom asset that was made? The uh, no. or, or shield was it a around the player. Thingy? Yeah. yeah, what was that? It's, uh, it's in the vanilla game. It's used in multiplayer and in the uh, spider boss fight. So, um, yeah, we just stole it from that. Okay, so DK finds Diddy in Factory. Um, this probably means that it's in the Power Hut because I believe that's the only DK check I didn't do. That Power Hut is also hinted way of the Horde, I suspect. Yeah, mm -hmm. it, it was it was one of the hints. So yeah. However, to get that, we still need Coconut. So that could be. Hopefully, that's floating around soon. 
the coconut gun, the one the one that can fire in spurts? I hear if it shoots you, it's gonna hurt. Oh. <laughs> we have a required DK rap sing along. That goes for you too, chat. Once we find the DK rap, so you always need to be ready if that comes up. Look, as host of the show, I will leave it to you all and remain silent. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, already, I already had to do this on my own stream once, and I'll never live it down. I mean, like if you do it with us, you, you can, can at least say you did the DK rap with the DK Railroad developers. It's going to be all out of sync, though. I guess, no, I'm sure. Oh, I mean, it'll be fine. Everything will be fine. Nothing's on fire. Everything is fine. All right, coming back in here. Um, there are a couple more things we can do as far as checks go. Um, there's a little, I guess, like a... Well, actually, I didn't do... Wait, I can't do that. Um, anyway... Um, we can do the chunky checks in the underground here now. Because now we have the barrel of the barrel, we can move this rock and come in, come into here. So, someone in chat has asked, what languages... Um, is the randomizer coded in. So the uh, in terms of the base hack that is used for the randomizer, that is entirely coded in uh, C, uh, Assembler, and a couple of uh, miscellaneous languages. And then for the randomization process uh, on the website that uses Python, JavaScript, and a couple of us here and there as well. So, Definitely quite a few programming would just used. And the, from like a technical set, I think a lot of programs here will like this, but like I believe we might be one of the only randomizers that does not have a server backend for the randomizer website. Like it's <laughs> literally done all through the browser, which I think is one of the most impressive parts about this project. Shout outs to um Kilkley, who uh, did pretty much the entirety of the uh, website work in terms of uh, making it patched correctly. So we've got a hunky junky chick here that has a vial. This, uh, this could be interesting. Oh, it gives me the gun. Cool. I didn't know if it did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was afraid it didn't give me the gun either. So I don't actually have pineapple launcher, but I guess this game gives you the gun in case you don't have it. So that's something to note. It's a minigame that normally shows up in Helm, so they might just expect you to have it. Orang stand, that one. Oh, oh did you get that... sprint last time? Yeah, I might have marked the wrong one. No, you got, yeah, no, you got sprint as well. Yeah. I can always check my handy oh, oh, oh. in-game tracker, which I mean, I have both of them now, so. <laughs> All right, well, that does solve that, kind of. Um, I still am missing stuff we can do. Um, so now here comes a fun part. I really need to think down what like all I can and can't do now, because otherwise I am not going to be able to advance. gonna go around quick i think i have everything in shapes though so i don't think it's necessary really for me to do this japes is usually pretty easy there is another hunky chunky check available did i get this yes i did wait there's a hunky chunky check available oh that's one i oh, just yeah. got uh, ooh, there, I'm thinking of one in aisles. Oh yeah, there is one in aisles. You are correct. Because this is not one I do very often. This is a good call. So, um, if you remember earlier, I played the saxophone to uh, 
spawn a gold banana at the top, or I guess the gold banana check. Um, that also spawns this hunky chunky barrel, which I almost always forget because we never do this. So let's see what's here. All right, we can change the category name to item randomizer, parentheses co-op. Good work, <laughs> team. <laughs> You're nice. We find a huge vial on this island. Oh my yeah, god, it's huge. Oh, it's big. Private punch. <laughs> okay, that's what we were missing. That's what we were missing. All right, back to factory. And the rest of the dominoes Everything begin to is fall. <laughs> Everything is falling in place. So, Elrock, I guess you can talk a little bit about the uh, <clears throat> uh, requirements in terms of, like, we ensure that you have all Kongs by the time that you... I think it's by the time you get to the end of level 5, isn't it? There are a number of guarantees made um, to try and combat uh, seeds that generate badly. Just a very large number of things that are checked. The important ones to note here are Kong requirements. So you're expected, the, the, the logic will expect you to, to be able to have two Kongs uh, by level two, three Kongs by level three, four Kongs by level four, and five Kongs by level five. So that means our fourth Kong has to be unlockable with moves in the first four levels, but our fifth Kong, whoever that might be, could be could require a move in level five, whatever level five is. We don't know what five is yet. So we may have to venture into castle to find whatever move will unlock uh, Diddy. I think Diddy will be next. Do you think that's a nice Earth. touch that you have where on the bonus barrel, like this one showed a vial for somebody? Is the color matching you know, whose ability it is, or is it like a generic vial on there? Either way, it's super awesome. It's a uh, generic I believe file. it's generic, yeah. The freestanding model, if it's like plays taking the place of gold banana, though, it had the color matches. Mm -hmm. I believe there's a technical limitation for the uh, marker that we put on the barrel. Yeah, it's both a technical limitation and a little bit of a uh, gameplay improvement. There is a certain knack to making sure that like you don't give away too much information, and I think just saying it's a vial is enough information for you to go in there and check what it is. Um, yeah. Oh, are we, get, are we getting right, some I'm, racing? I'm pretty sure we're go like, there's that DK move I was talking about. I'm pretty sure we're going on like a nice chain of items here to get coconut yeah, gun, coconut. which is going to lead to Diddy in the power hut. I'm pretty sure that's what's happening. Oh, that's Bongo Blast. Oh. Maybe not. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> Interesting. I did not expect that to be that. Um, hmm. I, I thought for sure that was Coconut. Oh, yeah, same. Um, this still can't the, do it. Uh, Oops. Perhaps this is the perfect lead for you to get Gorilla Grab and have to play DK Arcade. Yes, yes. Do it, randomizer. I I know chat wants really is begging for DK Arcade. Maybe maybe it'll happen. <laughs> I may make you do it anyway. Uh, just, uh oh. You know. You have all the requirements, um, but you know there's still something to do. We we still need a couple. I can't do uh, that, but I can it. do the race car. <laughs> Let's do the race car chat. I'm gonna laugh if the race car is uh, actually what we needed. Now, it's actually good because you can talk oh. about uh, collecting the coins because you, know, you can't just do a race and win. You gotta collect coins along the way. Is that a set number? So it uh, is a randomized amount. I missed um, what it was. <laughs> it was a gold banana. Okay. The, okay, the text before the text before the race will actually tell you what, what item you'll get from there as well. Yeah, kind of speed up a couple of these nasty checks. Yeah, like especially for those because I know chat's gonna be ranting and raving about the beetle races, but it'll do that for the beetle races too. And you can't just do that to chat. You go in there and not even do the race. My goodness. We've actually found that a surprising amount of seeds have the. Uh, 
Aztec Beetle Race as having a required move. A shocking number, more than you would expect. I've checked, it, it, that's, it's normal. That's not, that's not, uh, it's not a bug or anything. The, the randomizer will just sometimes hit you with a Beetle Race and you just gotta deal. <laughs> <laughs> All right, every no, now here is a speedrunner special right here. Oh no! The bad hit detection wheel. Oh my god, this wheel is a nightmare. Oh my! What? Oh. Wow! <laughs> 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 All right, I'm just the bottom part of the wheel is tends to be programmed a little better, so I'm just gonna stay here. There we go. Hey, GG. For your reward, you get a banana medal. And a flying banana. <laughs> flying gold banana. <laughs> All right. Enough of that. Back I'm, still, I'm still hoping for a flying Kong. It is Fingers possible. Crossed. All right, as we're going uh, back in here, I do, I do want to ask chat. This is a game that is full of mini games. And I, I want to know... What is the best mini game in Donkey Kong 64? Is there a best? I better be saying Beaver bad? Bother, Beaver Bother, Beaver Bother, Beaver <laughs> please, Bother. Please note she said best, not worst. Do not say the worst ones. Do not the do that. The best ones. Um, I know Two Dice has a favorite. I do. Oops. Why I just immediately see there isn't one. one. Thank you, you got a laugh out of me here. Oh no. Here come the Beaver Bothers. <laughs> well, if Beaver Bother is for you, correct me if I'm wrong, but there is a setting where you can force every single bonus barrel to be Beaver Bother. Sure can. You, you can sure? It, you can, it can indeed. You can you can do that with Beaver Bother. You can do it with uh, any minigame, actually, you like. So. I think Ooh. that was a potion. What is that? It's a potion. I think it was, D I think it was DK. So <laughs> the cool the <laughs> sniper isn't useful for a lot of things in the vanilla game, but in ra item randomizer it is very useful for peeking checks that are too far away to be loaded in. Um, this is one of those moments. Like if I didn't have sniper, I would need to do everything to see what that was. And these rooms are nasty. With, oh my goodness, he could hit the whole room with one swing. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, nope, he sucks. <laughs> wow. Later, nerd. Unbelievable. Triple zero batting average right there. Oh, don't mock them now, because you'll get one that has, you'll get one that's Barry Bonds, for sure, coming down the line. There's Coconut. Coconut hey. Hey. We're in. Oh, I should have stayed there. Eh, I'll go. I'll go back later. I need to get Diddy. <laughs> yeah. Isn't the was it a, wasn't it a tiny move that's cooking along? Yeah, there is a tiny move there, but I think getting Diddy is more important right now because well, I can come we know back. That one, well, there's only one left, so we know that's Ponytail Twirl that's still left in Jeeves. Yeah. So, Tudos, what's your favorite mini game in this game? Um, I do like Searchlight Seal a lot. Um, it's the one where you're in the dark. And you shoot the uh, the little things, crumblings, mm -hmm. clap traps, clap traps. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's definitely one of the better programmed mini games in this game for sure. Hey, there's Diddy. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Just floating there, chilling, you know. Bala, what about Can you? Check what this is now. So. <clears throat> I'm uh, outside of uh, hacking DK64. One of the other things I do in terms of DK64 is uh, making tasses. And from a task perspective, Kremlin Kosh is easily the best minigame. <laughs> this game is so great. Uh, this is the easy stealthy snoop. That's why I'm doing it. <laughs> Yeah. Expertly done. I would get caught three times. Um, speaking of mini games, um, for those who didn't, there's not a lot of people know this, but DK64 
has 10 hidden mini games in the code that were never used in the real game. We put those in randomizer. Those could show up. And look, I'm just gonna say, from my experience going through this randomizer, I've played some of those 10 bonus ones I didn't make to the final game, and unpopular opinion maybe upon you all, but uh, they should stay down. They should stay down. Yeah, very hard. <laughs> they are, they are, they are ridiculous. So they have 120 second they timers, are, and they were gone for a reason. Yeah, they, they were gone for a reason. <laughs> Ow! I think one of the one of the nastiest ones you can see is a, a speedy swing sortie, one with vines where you like swing between vines. In the vanilla game, all the speedy swing sorties are super easy. You're either swinging on vines, which is basically on rails, or you have ponytail twirl to, to fly through the air. Nice and straightforward. The one that's removed has bees that are oh, traversing yeah. the vine paths. So you have to time your vine swings through bees, which is extremely annoying because the hitboxes in this game are... Uh, they don't make any sense. They, yeah. They're something. They certainly are... This is a game. That's the for hitbo sure. I'll say the hitboxes, they exist. That's all I'm going to say about it because Alleg I don't want to get in trouble. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> and I would like to contest the uh, statement there that you said that uh, the uh, used speedy swing sorties are on rails because they use vines. Something about uh, DK64, <laughs> vines are very interestingly programmed. We spent not an inconsiderate amount of time trying to fix vines in DK64 randomizer to make them work. <laughs> Can we talk about how Squawks just had a fairy kidnap? Like, come on, man. That bird's a menace. I don't know, they seem pretty helpful. Alright, I'm coming back in here just so I can grab the, um... I guess the Diddy banana metal, and then I'm uh, good take to one. Leave. And we'll also, we'll also grab the hint in the lobby, too. Yep, because now those Diddy hint doors are opened up, too. Cool. You can't have enough hints in this rando, that's for sure. Uh, the question that comes up is, do we have enough hint doors in the game? And the answer is, we have enough, but oh boy, we could use more, because <laughs> you can, in this maze of a game, it, sometimes when you're, when you're stuck, you're looking for coconut, and you're just like, oh my god, I just need one thing to help me. Oh, well, that won't help that. <laughs> um, I can check this in the corner. No fairy. And this, though. Another banana metal. Okay, back out. Now the question is, where to next? Uh, we probably want to do... We need silly guitar to really advance in um, Aztec. And we don't have enough golden bananas for Castle yet, so I think going back to Japes is fine, because then I can grab this other hint door here. DK Isles Cranky Tiny is on the way to the whore. That's right! I forgot a potion there. Oh. Yeah, we didn't buy that. Oops. That uh, that shop is a uh, that shop's a sneaky one because it's not in a major level, so it's it's very easy to forget is that about. That the one that's over in the tutorial area. There sure is. Man, going back to school. It's normally where, yeah, it's normally where you get your first slam in the game, but yeah, uh, repurposed it. Repurposed and upgraded. Yeah, I do want to go. You know, give all three of you uh, a massive pop because you know this game it's, it's a game it's, it's definitely a game and the, the work y'all put in <laughs> to this to make it fun to make it enjoyable make it easy to use easy to play easy to understand has been immense and i think that's awesome that there's people like you all out there doing something like this so you can have fun playing games like this that's awesome Glad there's some entertainment value coming of this. Oops. Yeah. Uh, the the team is is more than us three though. There's a, a good a good handful of us that put a lot of put a lot of back work into this. Uh, shout out to Almost Seagull, vetted the seed. 
So uh, any suffering in, uh, incurred in the seed, we can uh, blame him. Uh, some other guys we've mentioned, uh, Kilkley also involved, uh, Bismuth, uh, C Fox, a bunch of, bunch of great guys. Yeah. Uh, Shadow Shrine as well, who's also in chat, did a lot of the uh, starting logic for DK64 Randomizer. We got, a, we got a whole credit sequence at the end to, to properly thank everyone. Everyone from, from beta testers to, to GEQ runners. And if for some reason you can't see the message, where do you go if you like what you see? Well, that answer is very simple. DK64randomizer.com. Um, item randomizer is currently on the dev branch, but it is publicly available. Yeah, if what you've seen so far has not scared you away. There you go. <laughs> okay, we need to go in here. There are a whole host of helpful people too. People will try out seeds and they'll they'll run around for a while and they'll be like, help. And there will be no shortage of people stumbling over themselves to help you. C Fox says the entire logic framework was extremely well done. And I hope, C Fox, that you read that in the DK64 well done voice. What am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> Well done. <laughs> well done. I wonder where that voice actor is today. I think this is going to be guitar. Yep, there it okay, is. There it is. You called it. So that oh, is it a just really made useful. Sense it was here. So guitar is a really useful move because you need the guitar to access the back portion of uh, Aztec, which is basically 99% of the level. All right, into Angry Aztec, we can do more of it. And we also have um, three more until we can do Castle as well. Isn't there a Aztec lot of stuff in Creepy Castle that is locked by like later moves? Um, we're going to actually get once I go there, we can explain that a little more closely because we made some modifications where that's not necessarily true anymore. Sure. So um that being said, it is Aztec time. So let's head in. We have our guitar. <laughs> Because if there's one uh, thing whatever. the Aztecs needed, the progression, it was, it was hard rock and smashing tunes from Diddy Kong. <laughs> yeah. Um, also needs swing on vines, but I'm too uh, lazy to find it, honestly. Whatever, you know. <laughs> who, who cares about logic anyway? Sorry, Laurent. No, no. So there's someone in chat who has well, said that they haven't touched this game since childhood, but they're worried that because they haven't touched this game since childhood, they won't be able to do the rando. We actually have a preset in the randomizer which turns off all randomization elements in the game and just applies the quality of life fixes. So if you want to play this again, but with some of the quality of life fixes, there is a preset in order to do that. It's pretty nifty. So we're talking about... Yeah, we're talking, we're talking about logic breaks here. This is actually not a logic break. This is a rare instance of the logic actually expects you to go use the rocket barrel that's over there to fly up here to use this guitar pad. So this is not out of logic. That's both good and bad. It's good because, wow, we get to get back here. That's great. It's bad because that means those vines could be anywhere. All right, I have ponytail twirl, so gooding over those uh, sand pits were in logic. Yeah, we have both moves that allow you to bypass vines for Aztec, which is not terribly common, but it's also terrifying. Vines are vines are very useful, and not finding them can be very scary. I'm, I'm sure we'll find it eventually. Yeah, 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 that's fine. It's, 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 it's probably somewhere. Probably not important, though. I mean, it better be somewhere, or uh, Balan, you're going to have some work to do. Yeah, if it's not somewhere, then uh, ooh, 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 not great. Yeah, I feel like if it's not there, then that's more of an L rock issue. God, that would, oh boy. <laughs> oh, are we just going to start blaming random that. people now? Let's blame Bismuth. I think that's a good <laughs> idea. Yeah. 
part of the uh, development process of DK64 Randomizer is finding some way to blame another developer for a problem. Hey, that, that's how, it's, um, that's I would, how I live my life. It's never my fault. It's someone else's fault to blame. I, yeah. would, I would say that's the case for software development in general. It's always somebody else's fault. Especially when you can go look through GitHub and, you know, look at, see what commit actually broke things. You can definitively say it was not my fault. It was somebody else. Oh, wait, Zernicus showed up in chat. It's Zernicus's fault. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want that. Yeah, I, I love the fireball enemies with the sunglasses on them. Good addition. Also, solid DK64 hitboxes. <laughs> Some of the best in the business right there. Wait, is this the credits music? Are we done? Oh, yeah, yeah. Good good, good <laughs> race, guys. I miss out race. Good seed, Tudos. You did a good job. GG. And it can only be, always be a race if you try hard enough. Uh, fun fact, in the vanilla game, these uh, Diddy pictures on these gongs were just shadows for some reason. We actually don't know if that was intentional or not. Oh, I missed that. <laughs> the sand, I hate it so much. The way knockback works in this game, I don't know, this, that's been my experience where it always knocks you away from where you want to go. Game knows as far as possible, mm -hmm. and the more you want to go that direction, the further it's going to knock you away. It's facts. Oh my goodness, he, he's checking the beetle race, the absolute madman. <laughs> all right, all right get hype you, for beetle race that I probably won't do because it'll be a dead. A you dead better item. do it. You no, you're not getting away with this twice, Tudos. You were finishing this race whether you like it or not. <laughs> I saw the backlash last time. You just exited out of the car race. No, you're, you're going down the slide like that. It's a good uh, stream quality banana. So there's a All golden right, banana I guess, there. I guess I'll get, get the, the gold. Get the golden banana, Tudos, or else. Um, so in the <laughs> vanilla game, like I did just there, you can hit the beetle before you go down. And it gives you a little bit of extra time at the beginning. Donk, 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 donk. <laughs> See, now you have I to think, deal with it's... the donk, donk, donk oh, this is great. every this, time this I collect these coins. This is quality content. I think the operative word is enjoy, not deal. Any donk enjoyers in the chat? <laughs> oh, this is so <laughs> cursed. Wonderful. I so, um, a good time. Oh, great. those people who uh, unfortunately remember the vanilla version of this game, uh, you have to normally collect 50 coins to beat this race. Uh, but with uh, one of the settings Tudos has on, uh, it randomizes the amount of uh, coins required to beat this race. And so it just how happened to pick 28. That was actually a, a pretty, pretty low roll, roll yeah. <laughs> Yeah, all right. Yeah, go ahead and try, yeah, Beetle. Easy, yeah. I almost said 50 anyway, so it's not like you miss out on too much fun. I'm just really, I hate, I hate to toot my own horn, but I think I'm, I think I'm pretty good at that one, so. Yeah, there, there's Do you nothing... even play DK64, though? I'm not <laughs> sure. Uh, that's a good point. Toodles doesn't even play DK64. DK In fact, he acts pretty effing rude all the time, you know? What? Could you? What are we watching right now? Oh, yeah, it's DK64 Randomizer. It's different. Dot com. Mm -hmm. Head over there if you want to try it out. All right, so there is supposedly something here. Hey! Oh! We <laughs> the, it's, it's the fifth Kong, Crusher Kong. <laughs> Lakey we Kong. have the Crusher Kong chat. He was hiding around in the don't, bazooka don't. the whole time. Don't look at the text. Don't look at the text. Not important. Oh All right, so as, you, so as you know, well, maybe you don't know, um, in multiplayer, Crusha is an available option for some reason. So we're just like, heck, 
Let's put Crusher in the main game. That'll be fun. Now he's there. Um, it sounds easy, but Blam has gone through blood, sweat, and tears to bring our friend Crush into the single player mode. Yeah, it's definitely not easy. <laughs> There's a lot of um, technical changes we have to make. Um, in short, it's technically not Crusher. It's a model replacement and changing tons of attributes about the uh, Vanilla Kong uh, to make it look like it's Crusher. Wow. That's kind of, that's why he can only replace one Kong, but he can replace any Kong. You can have Crusher doing handstands as Lanky. You can have Crusher gracefully T-posing in the air in a ponytail twirl. <laughs> it is truly spectacular and must be witnessed to be believed. You know, Balam, you've done a, a lot of ridiculous things for this randomizer. And I'm sure everybody is very thankful for it. That being said, has there been any request made that you're like, no, I'm not doing that? <laughs> sorry, you cut out for a bit. <laughs> what did you say? Uh, sorry, I cut out. Um, you've gotten a whole bunch of stuff added to this game and done, mm -hmm. as far as I'm concerned, just straight up magic to, to get this working. But has there ever been a case where someone asks for something, you're like, no, absolutely not. I'm not doing that. <laughs> but it's more like a case of I try and then it doesn't work. A lot of the time it's uh, model replacement stuff. DK64 has a lot of weird uh, things to do with models in terms of collisions and everything like that. Um, as evidenced by the fact of that for those who have played dev, Crusher is still a little bit hard to get working properly. Um, so a lot of people have said, oh, can you uh, replace uh, Candy or Tiny with Candy, for example? Unfortunately, not possible. Candy has no collision in her model file. So it's a bit tough to get that kind of stuff working. Hear me out. Give me some good. Hear me out, Balan. What if? All right. Ooh, Ooh. it's good. <laughs> oh, it's good. All right, all right, excellent. As we're heading over there, what if we could just like play as a barrel? It doesn't have to have any animation. It's, you're, you're just playing as a barrel, going around. You, you so, know what? <laughs> solid safety in K64. <laughs> Yo, know, fan, there is a small chance that question will be answered, just depending on if I roll what I need to roll, and if I get into said thing, then that rolls what it needs to roll. Mm. So, mm. there, I, I guess we'll leave it at that, and I can explain it later if I never find it, but. <laughs> and now with the advent of homing ammo, the D-pad is complete. There's an extra little button on the the, the D-pad. If you push down on the D-pad, you can toggle between normal ammo and homing ammo. As to the N64 D-pad, the, the, the poor thing just was ignored during the entire life cycle of the N64, but you know, we put it to good use. It works in our favor here because we need a couple extra buttons for tag anywhere and uh, a couple other stray things. There are also some interesting uses of the D-pad in Vanilla DK64, um, mostly for developer <laughs> codes. So there is one developer code where if you press a certain button sequence, you can lower prices of B lockers uh, to roughly around about 80% of their usual value. Um, it's quite an interesting uh, feature, let's say. Uh, but for randomizer, just because it does kind of break things a little bit, if you were to use it in a race, we have disabled the ability to lower prices. Big sad. All right. Couple more items in this alcove here. This is a golden banana, I think. Well, I hope it's a golden banana. I ain't checking it again. 
It looked like a golden banana to me. Like, I think it'd be obviously if it was a potion, so I think I'm okay with it. I'm really supposed to spawn some platforms to get to that, but like I literally don't care. This lava doesn't kill you for some reason, so I will use that to my advantage. The game is very inconsistent about that. Sometimes there's lava that kills you. Sometimes there's lava that doesn't. Sometimes there's lava you can swim in. Very odd. Yeah. I wouldn't think about it too much. There are just different types of lava. How's my things going? I, I love seeing Crush it just in the in the menu there. I was wondering this the whole time. I never got a chance to ask if I saw like Crush it on the on the sign post and all that. I was like, what's going on there? What does that mean? Yeah, Crush it. You yeah. Crush is a Kong. Yeah, Crush is a sure Kong. Did. Are you serious? Dang. One more for the metal. I'll probably end up going to the beginning of level, see if I can find a couple more. Oh, right there. Perfect. Take the blueprint. Oh, nope, not this one. Not this one. <laughs> um, I consider this Busy Barrel Bear is the hardest game in Randomizer, not Beaver Bother. It's that game. I. It's got the hardest first five seconds, but then after that, I don't think it's too bad. It, it certainly is significantly harder when you don't have your gun, however, so that's a problem. That, that is a minigame that does not give you your gun. Hey, will I be able to find four more Diddy Bananas before I leave? That is the big question. I'm sure there's some in here. I hope. You know, a nice collision. That, that's some classic DK64 right there. If you look up DK64 in a dictionary, that specific collision with your ammo is just, that's just the picture. That is vintage DK64 getting clipped by a ledge or something. You have to, you know, scoot forward a little more on the ledge to try oh, and shoot slightly lower. I think I can get this if I do some jank tag anywhere shenanigans here let's see there we go oh my goodness <laughs> that that was so smart I was like what are you gonna do are you gonna and i can no, move on just gonna switch it that was awesome whoa and that's what and that's why he's playing <laughs> oh actually and not me <laughs> now before i go into castle we can do two checks here the banana fairy will tell you what she's holding hostage instead of the rare, rare gold banana um, so I'll also give you a move here, a check or something. So let's see. That's just a gold banana there. So there's a, and the other things with blueprints. So she gave me a gold banana. If you do miss that text though, it will tell you if you re-enter Banana Fairy Island, or it will show you a cutscene of what is behind Rare Rare Door. We got that. Um, there's a couple more easy checks I should check here before I go to castle, actually. There's a dirt patch up here. Actually, I think I got this dirt patch. Anyone remember? I got a, I don't. I, you did. Uh, I don't, you know, just go double check. It'll be fine. But on our way into the castle, once we get into the lobby there, let's go ahead and head into our first break of the evening. Uh, just take a couple minutes to, um, you know, get up, stretch, relax. Sounds like a plan. Quick dive into here. And yes, that is Crusha in Orang Sprint mode. If you're wondering why his arms were as big as that, it's like, oh, here you go. Crusher works out, and you can tell. <laughs> <laughs> All right, one more check here. 
There's another golden banana. Okay. We're doing pretty healthy in golden bananas. We're over halfway done with our golden banana count. Um, once we resume from our break, we can probably go over quickly um, what all we still need and what we like consider go mode in this game, and then we can go from there. So um, I'll go ahead and enter Castle Lobby and we can take a break. Excellent. We still have all those blueprints, right, as well? Yep. I'm kind of holding them just in case, but yeah. All right, here we are in the we lobby. Go We're going to go ahead and go into our first break, so don't go anywhere. We're going to be back in a, just a few short min minutes, moments. Yeah, one of those, one of those M words. Uh, don't go anywhere because there is still a, a lot more DK64 random to come right after this. Thank you so much. And welcome back to Game Masters here on the GDQ Hotfix. A couple quick reminders. Your subs, Prime Gaming subs, gift subs, and bits cheered on the GDQ Twitch channel. Help support Games Done Quick with HDQ 2023 costs, including hotel cancellation costs. Please consider subscribing to help support Games Done Quick. Also, Frost Fatale's 2023 prize submissions are open, and go to gamesdonequick.com for more info, or use exclamation point prizes in Twitch chat to submit your prizes. Unapology, unapologetically Black and Fast is coming up February 12th through 13th, so celebrate Black Excellence and speedrunning coming up next month. Use exclamation point UBAF in Twitch chat for more info. We are back with more DK64 randomizer with two dose. And we have about half the golden bananas we're targeting. And the important question is, are you ready to resume? I am ready. All right. From three, two, one, go. All right. So going to be checking some hint doors here since I wasn't here with Crusher Kong and Diddy Kong before. So we'll sneak on in. All right, well, we knew that. <laughs> I still love how the Cursed Flat's just, like, locked in prison here. <laughs> well, there is a setting uh, to randomize their locations completely so they won't be in uh, vanilla spots. Uh, there's some pretty interesting locations that uh, Alvrog has uh, devised, let's say. And um, I don't have it on for this gold. because, again, I don't want... Well, I do want to be playing this for eight hours a day, but <laughs> I don't think GDQ will like me very much if I sit here playing DK on it all day, all, every day, so... Yeah, but, you know, I, I love if, you wanna, if you want to do it Oops. on your own channel, you know, maybe people can go follow twitch.tv slash Tudos and get some DK64 randomizer there, but I heard you never play it. Also, what is with this sky? Oh my goodness. Oh uh, yes, that's another <laughs> randomizer feature. Um, we randomized the back, I guess the sky backdrop of Castle and DK Isles, I think. There might be more of a lamb. There's more. Um, it depends on the level, but they're pretty much all randomized to have uh, some interesting colors, let's say. So I guess something I do want to bring up here since I'm kind of going through castle is kind of what go mode is in this game. Every single randomizer that you've probably seen has one. Um, and it's a little bit changed up for DK64 randomizers just because of the way we kind of have everything structured. Due to the nature of the end game, there's a incalculable number of combinations of moves that you're going to need in the end. Oh, there's, there's one, of one of the moves. <laughs> Just due to the, the helm order will require different moves, uh, the K. Rule fight will require different moves, and any combination of those in between can constitute your go mode. Uh, so far, I, we're very close on our go mode. So we have a helm of Chunky Diddy Donkey which means we need triangle, guitar, and bongos, and we have two of those, so we need triangle. And then we have a K rule of tiny diddy donkey, which means we need feather, which we have, we need mini monkey, which we have, we need peanut, which we do not, we need rocket barrel. So we are two items away from that, and then we also need vines to get into hideout helm. So we're actually three items from go mode right now. 
All right, don't finish too fast on me. And for those who are um, kind of like, oh, where did they get this information? Um, those were on the hint doors. Um, kind of what it's hinted for like kind of our goals for the seed. Those were on some of the earlier hint doors that I was going through. What is the maximum number of bananas that you can set the randomizer to have for you know, opening up the trough and scoff door? You can have it set to 500 if you want, because oh. <laughs> in the vanilla game, there's uh, 500 color bananas per level. Um, it will do a bit of a logic check to make sure you can access all 500 um, if you, like, I'm missing a few moves, for example, and it will lower it to what you can access if you can't access all 500. Um, so it will always make sure, no matter what, that you can beat your seed. Um, now is probably a good time to talk about the, um, what do we call it? I guess the kind of switch logic that we have. Yeah, so <clears throat> there's a feature that we have recently implemented where you can change uh, the switches to, rather than Castle always having red switches, it to be tied to the uh, level order. So the first four levels will have green switches, the next two will have blue switches, and then the final level will have red switches. So Castle's level four here, so instead of uh, red switches in the vanilla game, it has green switches. And then whatever level ends up in the slot seven, that will have red switches instead. Oh, you are a jerk. You are a jerk. Okay, you know what? Oh. So many seconds for the spiteful guitar. His, pun His punishment is rock and roll. <laughs> oh, wait, I don't even have this anyway. Oops. <laughs> I don't think this loads in. Nope. So a good thing as well about Randomizer is we've tried to include a lot of um, accessibility features to make sure that uh, no matter what, you can play DK64 Randomizer. So uh, one of them is that uh, we have removed the, uh, or is there is an option to remove the uh, water oscillation, uh, which can uh, help some of those who feel a little bit uh, seasick from uh, that being uh, oscillating. Another one is we have introduced a colorblind mode where the uh, key collectibles within the game will be different colors and depending on what type of colorblind lesson you have, you'll be able to play DK64 randomizer uh, regardless. That is an awesome, awesome inclusion. Like accessibility is very, very important and you know, a lot of the older games didn't really do it. It's only like recently and still there's so much more work to go. So that's. That's super awesome to hear that. That's a priority of your development. Admittedly, well, it was kind of tough to implement and it's still not perfect. Like places like this, for instance, this underground cave, the shading on the colors changed slightly. So like to get that to even work in I, in regards to everything else where the color needs to show up, it, it, it's tough. But I think we found a pretty good, uh, pretty good happy medium for a lot of our colorblind modes, I'd say. Yeah, we did get well, it. You say it's tough to find. You say it's tough to find colorblind colors in this lighting. It's tough for. It's tough for anyone who can see colors to figure out what color these are in any way. So it doesn't. <laughs> nobody's winning here. <laughs> yeah, I tried making a uh, palette of uh, colors, which would accentuate, uh, like, for instance, blues to be easier to see and purples to kind of combat those lighting changes. But no matter what, it would always like show us a different color in certain lights. So DK64 definitely tries this everything to work against any form of uh, colorblind mode. Yeah, what types of colorblindness do you currently support? <laughs> Have specific ones targeted. So I believe, um, correct me if I'm wrong, the all three main types of colorblindness are supported. So uh, protonopia, deuteranopia, and tritonopia. I am apologize if I uh, messed up the uh, pronunciation there, but as far as I know, those are the three main types, and we support all of those three. Let's 
music's so intense. Where is this? Is this normally a boss theme somewhere? This is the minecart castle theme. Oh, yes. So not quite a boss. Um, I am actually close to that minecart, but I can't do it because I don't have Gorilla Grab. So sorry, minecart fans. Not today. There are more. Oh, you there will be more. Yet. No, there's the fungi forest one. That one's very easy to get to. Dude, I can't even do anything in here. I guess I can grab bananas, but that's about it. All right, so plenty of things we can do. And again, like we were explaining with the uh, kind of, and again, this kind of goes with uh, fans, I think we were from earlier, like doesn't castle require all these moves for you because it's really level that. Um, I guess the Simeon Slam modification that we made that we were explaining does really help with that. So we only need Simeon Slam to access a lot of these rooms and areas. Yeah, I think with the, the Strength Shuffle, it, this adds like, oh gosh, probably like a dozen more checks to Castle that are worth checking now. It's a lot. Makes it makes a big difference for Castle. Yeah. Also makes quite a like a fair change to other levels. Like if you get Japes as level seven, um, <laughs> there's like five checks there which are behind a Simeon Slam. So you'd have to have super duper Simeon Slam for five checks in Japes, which <laughs> can be a real pain. It sounds like a great time to me, actually. <laughs> All right, don't need that. Do I have any homing ammo? I don't think so. Oh, I can just use this trough and scoff right here. Perfect. Don't forget the dirt on the way out. I would say I won't, but then I'm going to proceed to forget the dirt on my way out. I've, I've said it for dramatic effect so that when you do forget it, then it just, it, it just adds to the stream value. Actually, even with this cutscene sped up, it's still just so long. And you know, the the yeah. pink pig, what, whatever his name is, that scoff or is that trough, I don't know, doesn't even touch the key. You didn't need to do anything, it's just open on its own. <laughs> well, the reason, or the, the fact that it takes so long is one of the reasons why the, the item is displayed in the door. So you can see that, oh, yes, this boss is worth doing. Oh, look at this guy. Oh, it's Jack. Bad Jack. Everybody's favorite. For some reason, the hardest boss in the game is the level three boss. Yeah. Now, it is a little, quite a bit shorter than you may remember, as uh, some of the phases are removed. Yep, it is only three phases instead of five phases, and I think for most of the bosses, that was kind of the goal, to make them only three phases long, Max. So what's going on with the camera here? Um, so the camera is mainly for lag reduction strats, which of course I used to speed on this camera in 64. So I try to make the camera face away from Mad Jack at all times. Um, obviously it doesn't really like that much um, on like VC or emulator, so to say. So it don't necessarily need to do the strat I'm doing, but like it's just how I'm used to fighting Mad Jack. This is normally one of the final phases here, and uh, still gonna do his mega laser. Now, I never noticed there is that uh, thing on the roof. A little texture over there, a little trap door or something. That's, uh, I think, in the cutscene, that's where he falls yeah. in from. Yeah, it is. Pretty decent look, though. I, I couldn't tell you how much luck he had because I couldn't see the guy. It wasn't C Fox luck, place. that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's um, a runner called C Fox who uh, used to get very good Mad Jack luck. So anytime you get a switch to spawn really near you, uh, we uh, often call that C Fox luck because uh, 
he used to get pretty lucky with uh, the switch placement. Or fairies. All right, where's my uh, banana count looking? So 10 more for Chunky, 20 more for Crush, and that's it, okay. So we'll get these. That's another nice quality of life change there. Only 30 bananas instead of 75 for the banana medals. Yeah, that helps cut down on having to really dig through levels to find stuff. And that's a that's a setting you can pick and choose your number that you like. Yeah, if you uh, want to 30, set it to 100, you can. Don't oh, set it to 100, please. <laughs> Good luck. You know, I'm glad the option exists, right? You know, more options is yeah. better. Doesn't mean you should exercise those options. <laughs> They're terrifying, yeah. but they exist, and that's good. All right, I think, uh, we, we usually like somewhere between settings dependent, but somewhere between like 20 to 40 or 50 or so. Somewhere around there, just not, no more than half or so. 75 is a pretty remarkable number, but I guess that's why they call them medals in the vanilla game. It's truly an accomplishment. You've, re you've really done something great in DK64 if you managed to find all those bananas. Great is the word for it. <laughs> I always thought it was odd that the medallion levels were only at 75, not 100. Maybe at one point in development it was 100. That was they, terrifying. they probably decided it was too hard. I mean, point taken. <laughs> They decided 100 colored bananas was too hard, and then they left beaver, beaver bother in the game. <laughs> Could be because of those um, two balloons in Galleon, which, like, have a real problem with loading. Yeah, I'm surprised nobody in Twitch chat has been giving us the, the beaver bother copy pasta that I see every time I play this game. So. It's nice. It wants. No, more on the game in general, like, uh, we, we've said many times tonight, it's certainly a video game, and, and <laughs> regardless of what you think of the quality of it, I do have to say, the game is quite charming uh, in so many, many ways. I, I just love the sense of humor, and really the funniest thing for me is just, like, all the moves name have, like, a move names have, like, a pseudo-scientific description of them, and I just can't get enough of it, like... <laughs> yeah, they even have, like, a scientific name assigned. Yeah. This game's got heart, that's for sure. And we kind of try and uh, we try and lean into that a little bit. There's a, a good amount of uh, text that's replaced in shops that tell you, you know, if Cranky's selling you, you know, coconut, because he doesn't normally sell you that, what what is he gonna say instead? And we've had to come up with some stuff. Um, I think uh, I think Bismuth wrote a fair chunk of those, and it's just a, an extra little bit of DK lore we can insert. Whoa, whoa, which is, whoa. I, don't you mean YouTuber Bismuth? Respect <laughs> YouTuber the name. Bismuth. <laughs> Shout yeah, out to Bismuth. Yeah, Bismuth and um, I think Zanarchus came up with uh, the uh, text for the uh, move hints. All right, got a battle crown to check here. Worth noting, there are some difficulty sliders for your battle crowns. If you like your battle crowns hard, you can make hard enemies, and you'll run into just absolutely stacked battle crowns full of the worst enemies in the game. And yes, it's that terrifying. that includes the get out guy, by the way. You what? can have Wait. battle crowns with those in it. <laughs> what? How's that even work? You just have to make oh, sure why, you get why, hit. Why don't you generate a hard crown enemy seed and no. you can see? <laughs> no, you can't make me do this. They, they shoot you, but they don't actually kill you, so you can put them in Battlegrounds. And uh, we did we did a, a, a get out in the Aztec Temple earlier, and you saw that the timer is on the center of the screen. And that's because they that's can fake. be in Battlegrounds. That's fake. It's fake. <laughs> I'm going to get frozen. <laughs> I didn't get frozen. Oh, we got to fix that bug. <laughs> it's skipped by the dance. The Crusher just danced out of the freeze. <laughs> oh, that is impressive. Yeah, it's worth noting that um, this is still in development, so there's going to be things here and there which 
you know, need a bit of tweaking or fixing here and there. Um, but for the most part, like, it's pretty stable. So that's why we're able to show you uh, this tonight. Very few crashes, no unbeatable seeds. Okay, very few unbeatable seeds. There's still don't some bugs don't jinx the, the seed. Oh, it's gonna crash oh, now. Oh, this one's fine. <laughs> You're gonna jinx we're, we're it. You on jinxed one. it. <laughs> I, I'm doing it. I'm tempting fate. I'm telling you right now, we're fine. Oh my god. <laughs> All right. Well, I hope for your sake that we are fine. We're fine. All right. I always like Creepy Castle. I think it, that or Factory is my favorite level because, like, they all have like really easily defined areas. I guess is a good way to describe it, and they're like named appropriately. Okay, let's see here. I'm, I'm just doing? waiting. I'm waiting for it to happen. Uh -oh. Oh god, I hope that doesn't have an item in it. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's the... Oh, that's going to be the rarer coin. <laughs> but we don't need that, Amazing. like I said, but that door is just open, so... <clears throat> it's basically a dead check in the settings I'm using. Is that a fairy? Yeah, it is. I don't have... I can't check this. Well... Too bad. I'm sure it's nothing. I, I'm, I'm sure everything is fine, chat. We're sure. Wait, no, here's some crystals right here. I can check it quick. All right. Try again. Crystal coconut management. It's a it's a tricky little bit in this in seeds sometimes. Sometimes you just have to check so many different things. Your crystal coconuts runs out, and the next thing you know, you're like, oh my god, I can't I can't get in. Banana mill don't care. The hey, quickest way back in the level from that area is just pause exit. Well, that might not necessarily be true in randomizer because of course things are changed around, but. We're only gonna do a couple more checks here, then we shall go to level five. Um, we have the ballroom, or sorry, museum and cranky, and I think that's all I'll do. So thankfully, What's um, that? sorry, go ahead. <laughs> I was about to say, thankfully, uh, this item can be uh, peaked super quickly. All you have to do is just stand on this pad, and it will show the item that's uh, as a reward. That banana uh, looks. I'm not uh, gonna get that because I think <laughs> I'm good with golden bananas for now. It also looked decidedly uh, not ripe as well. Hmm. Curious. I'm sure it's fine. What could go wrong? <laughs> yeah, Nothing the, the, is ever I, I mean, I left it. I, I left it there. It's fine. But Cranky, Cranky's our guy. He only sells the finest golden bananas for nine coins. Um, I will say this, Oak. I never told you, but I did jack things up to high prices bef before oh, okay. or at some point because. I actually think I still have way too many coins, but... Uh, yeah, you do have... You're sitting on 60 with DK? That is a ton. I thought... Nine is the, the highest price in medium prices, and I thought you were on medium prices, and I was like, whoa, at nine, that's crazy, but... Yeah. I think, not, I think nine is, like, the average on high. No, maybe, that, maybe it's on the higher end on high still, but it's up there. Yeah, the game really loves throwing those coins at you. They're just... There's so many extras. Like, they... They really made sure, no matter where you go, you were going to find your coins for the moves. Well, with rainbow coins in the pool, you're very likely mm -hmm. to find them. Um, if rainbow coins are on dirt patches, then finding Shockwave unlocks 
literally half the coins in the game. Yeah. So. <laughs> wow. Wasn't there right. a, you know, this was, wasn't there a hidden pad like that wasn't found until very recently? Oh, you know, like the, the hidden rainbow coin. Course. Yeah. It was. We'll probably end up getting it because it's a low sphere check. Um, it was found. Well, Belen probably knows the story better than me, but basically, someone who was mapping out like place in the game was just walking around and like zooming to the portions that he mapped out, and all of a sudden he's got zoomed to a place that he didn't expect to be zoomed into, and that's how I found it. Yeah, he was. Um Isotosh, who was the person who found it, uh, was uh, warping to different uh, different items in Fungo Forest to try and find a uh, gap in uh, the save file where there was a certain attribute which wasn't accounted for. And he warped to the hidden patch in uh, Fungi Forest. And that was, yeah, that's how uh, the uh, hidden rainbow coin was found. Now... Is that considered part of 100%? Not the uh, speedrun category 101% because banana coins don't contribute to the percentage counter, which is how that category is defined. So, um, unlike what uh, some uh, myths have said, it didn't wipe the 101% uh, leaderboard. Okay, that's good. <laughs> but the all collectibles leaderboard, watch out. <laughs> Please don't do that. Save yourself. <laughs> Lots of good uh, dead hints coming up here. Nothing, yeah, nothing particularly impressive out of hints so far, but the uh, the trombone foolish is actually pretty remarkable. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the unbelievable hint! Amazing. I I didn't even know that. The Wait, things that the 64 randomizer You're too fast. You're reading it too fast. Dang it. Oh, yeah, yeah. I better read it back. I better read it back. Well, oh, actually, we got oh. something here. Is that, is that trombone? We were just hinted that it's dead. Oh, it's Boom Boom Balloon. Okay. Hmm. Fungi Forest contains mushrooms. I really makes you think. <laughs> yeah, unbelievable. God, I, I thought it was... I, I thought it was like an actual hit that blew your mind. Was like, I, I feel like I just got got. I, I, no, no, no. I, th they, what they said wasn't a lie. It's true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Oh, here's some nice yeah. Crystal Caves music. The, the randomizer hint system will sneak in a. They'll sneak in a joke hint on you. There's one in every seed, or there should be, barring something weird. Right, there's an example of me switching from homing ammo to normal ammo there. That is a feature of randomizer, quality of life feature that we added. Yeah, in the vanilla game, the only way you swap is you run out of homing ammo, right? Yep. Great system. Mm -hmm. Wonderful balloon placement here, honestly. There's another for Diddy back there. I don't have a gun though, so oops. All right, it looks like it's 131 for the key here, which is isn't too bad. Um, for the randomized trough and scoff axis, I set the max it can be to 200. So we've been getting some pretty, pretty friendly rolls, I would say, for those. Hey, there's something right there I can get. Oh, I didn't know about these locations right here. Oh, I fell off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. This is the level I, I, I've i done about 10 of these seeds or so. So I am no expert, but this level always gives me a lot of trouble. It's just I'm confused. I'm, I'm lost. Everything looks the same. It, I get turned around. Yeah. It's not just you. I This level, from a game design perspective, is not that good. <laughs> I, it almost feels like they did it on purpose just because of how late the level is, I guess, but... 
Yeah, I don't know, is it just like to try and, you know, give you the impression you're actually exploring a cave so you kind of climb up cliffs, take these along narrow winding paths somewhere? Uh, maybe I'm reading too much into this. I'm definitely reading too much into this. What am I talking about? Thankfully, though, one change we did make in the randomizer is that the uh, giant kosher who uh, periodically rains uh, stalactites on you uh, he's uh, dead already, so you do not have to worry yes, about thank the, you. Uh, <laughs> the occasional rockfall. That giant kosher doesn't actually have any like item checks on it, so it's not like we're getting rid of a check either. He's also hard to get to. He takes a uh -huh. significant number of items to get to. But do you know what isn't hard to get to? DK64randomizer.com. You can <laughs> check out DK64randomizer <laughs> right now if you go to that website. Um, just, keep in mind, a lot of the <laughs> just keep in mind, a lot of these features you're seeing, are seeing right now are in the dev branch only, so Ooh. it is public, it's a just that you just have your expectations. Ooh, these are purple claptraps. This is the Kaizo Pearl Path Panic, by the way. <laughs> Wait, is this, an, is this one of those added mi mini games? This is not in the vanilla pool, but it's an extremely hard version of this game. Reload! Well done. Hold up. Hey, there's one of the go mode items we needed. All right. That's one left. Two to go. Two to go. Boop. What are we still missing here? A oh, five. <laughs> mm. <laughs> peanut and vines still. A peanut and vines, I guess. I do like how Diddy's like holding his arms out when you're flying. Because you're supposed to have. The oh Peter Pop no! The zinger of doom! He's, he's taking a swim! Hey, I can get that banana metal now. <laughs> <laughs> the one that fell down, unfortunately, earlier. No, you're accurately uh -huh. emulating my experience with this level. <laughs> That's what we're trying. Oh, this is a good animation. <laughs> 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 I don't have trombone. I just want. I just wanted to show you that. <laughs> Lots of balloons around here. Do I have? I do have thirty with her. So let's go in here. Um, I also will say this, we have, okay, I don't need that. We have on dk 6 randomizercom a link to our Discord where a lot of huge DK64 enthusiasts are in there talking about Randomizer too, so. Tech, you may find one of the people on the show today perusing that Discord. Oh, I mean, Colson here is not very fun. <laughs> Um, I do have the charge. I'm gonna die. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Dang. Uh, every time you uh, go through one of these slots, oh, that's and rotate this room. I'm just worried you're gonna go out of bounds because it happened to me all the time. Um, the trick is to just like simply don't move when the room's rotating. Um, I think that usually cuts down on most issues. Not saying cuts on all the issues, so remember, the game was made in a cave with duct tape and possibly Elmer's glue, so. <laughs> yeah, it's, you know, it's kind of difficult to not go out of bounds in the playthrough, unless you know what you're doing. The walls tend to be paper thin at times. What walls? Yeah, <laughs> the ones that do exist. So they say. No! Oh. 
this is so hard. <laughs> oh no, we found Barry Bonds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, DK64 is a game with over a thousand unique glitches. It is that buggy. We do have like a, what do we call We are like a glitch. We have a site that keeps track of what glitches we find. And yeah, it's, it's pretty big. I'd still like to thank Rare Rare and Nintendo for releasing this game because so many fun times have been had with it. I'd also like to thank Grant Kirkhope. No! Please no! Please no! Please no! No! You're good? You're good? I have 13 seconds left. <laughs> Come on! Three, two, one. Yes. Nice. Oh, <laughs> banana metal. Well done. <laughs> that that's DK sixty four in a nutshell. <laughs> you try, you struggle, you try so hard, you do anything you can in your power to be rewarded with a banana metal. The randomizer is sentient at times. Oh. Okay. Can I get into here? I can. Oops. I should probably not die. I think there's a tag barrel over here. I'm gonna... So obviously we have the um, tag barrel still in because they refill your health. Um, that's one of the main reasons why we keep them there instead of just flat out removing them. If you're feeling uncharitable, you can remove them. That's an option. Yeah, we do have the option. Right, that's nothing. Um, I can do this one. I think I can do most of these question mark. I do like how the Mad Jack um, sound effects are built into the song. Another great benefit of having um, uh, homing ammo one? being optionally disabled is that you can like reserve homing ammo to only be there when you need it. Um, the yeah, D-pad that, that Kong switcher was asking about, or someone asked about the D-pad Kong switcher in the chat. That is optional. Like, you don't need to have that on when you have tag anywhere on. It's just a nice visual representation, especially, like, when you can and can't tag. Like, right now, it's, like, slightly dim because you're playing an instrument. You obviously cannot tag in the middle of an instrument playing. Or in the middle of a cutscene or something. But what cutscenes that remain, a lot of the cutscenes got, they got the... <laughs> they met the cutting room floor when we realized that, <laughs> oh man, these, these are useless. Like, there's a cutscene in here that'll play when they'll slowly have the GB flying through the room. Nope, don't need that. Get out of here. But like everything, you can uh, have those cutscenes in the game, should you wish. We have tried to make as much as possible a setting where reasonable, basically. All right, a lot of people's favorite room in the game right here. Oh, yes. <laughs> I want to be the first to oh, say, boy. heck, this room. This room's the worst. At least you have oranges. If you didn't have oranges, that's the only strat I know. This room logically requires oranges and is one of the very few locations that hard requires oranges just because of how impossible this room is without it. Can't get those. No, 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 oh! no. I don't know what happened there, but I need to stand at a good spot. Okay. Okay, there's my doink. Um, we have an indication when you have the when you have the right amount of uh, bananas to get a trough and scoff. Okay, one more enemy, and I think we're good. 
Sweet. Wow. Yeah. It's a cheap sucks. Trying to deal with the platforming jank and enemies that sometimes move at lightning speeds. Oh boy, that runs away sometimes. Wait, why did I come back somebody, in? Oops. Someone in chat asking if that timer is way too high. No, they should double the timer. Release a patch. Rare, come on. Just for oh, you. You could do it. No, <laughs> do not. Just for you, fam, we're going to have a patch at half the time when you make seeds. Wow, thank you. Uh, nothing in here. Yeah, well, it's a good thing there's nothing in there because you don't have spring for it. Yeah, we'll um, we'll make a patch which uh, sets oh. the timer to one if your name is an Anarchus. Yes. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> For those who really think there's too much time, <laughs> let's check my uh, banana counts here. All right, so just two more Kongs, but I can fight the boss now, so I'm going to do that. I want to see the dragonfly. Number two, where you have to go hunky chonky and punch him. He's gonna get that disco hands. <laughs> <laughs> that was definitely a boss, as I remember. It, it, it can work sometimes. Yeah, hunky chunky physics are interesting. You're kind of on a well. Really running around in this game is interesting. You're kind of slip and slide a lot of the time, but when you're huge, it's a significantly larger slip and slide, and so you just woo all over the place. Dang, I guess I have the amount of things needed to check Beetle Race, don't I? Speaking of slip and slides. All right, Jackie, uh, you guess what monster are we going to face? I'm, I'm hoping... Oh, I don't have a slam. Actually, this is level yeah. five, isn't it? Ha, so I do get out of checking Beetle Race. Now. For now. <laughs> you're not saved until the hints tell you you're saved. All right. Oh wait, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta sprint. Foolish hint. I think Beetle Race is dead, actually. Oh, perfect. A lot of uh, Crusha's moves were hinted foolish, weren't they? Orang sprint, trombones. We're both hinted as dead. Sprint and trombone. Yeah. I think you needed a rank stand for something. I can't remember what. There was, I think there was something in Japes in his bonus barely oh. to rank stand too, which I got out of logic. That was, yeah, and that was sprint, so you didn't need it. That's the that's the real joys of these hints trying to unpack the puzzles that when did, when did I get where did I get that there wait is that do I need that no I don't do I maybe possibly I don't know would recommend uh, anyone taking a swing at a, a dk64 randomizer.com seed to uh, take good notes on your hints they will help you tremendously yeah and if you don't it's a good way to get lost <laughs> Yeah, especially if um, if you're used to like 1.5 or 1.0, hints weren't really all too useful. They definitely helped, but not a huge amount. Um, in 2.0, they are pretty much mandatory for you to read them. Um, Absolutely essential. Otherwise, you ha you're going into basically everything blind, which might be for some people, but might not be for you. Uh, it's 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 dangerous for your time. That's for sure. <laughs> it takes a significant amount of time. <laughs> Who would have uh, to, it, this is coming from experience as well. The uh, the first it, the first couple iterations of item rando testing didn't have hints, and wow, wow, those seeds were hard. <laughs> yeah, it was very much just check a thing and <laughs> roll the dice in terms of whether it gave you something <laughs> useful. <laughs> Oh gosh, I hope I hope that key turns up soon. Oh boy. <laughs> and that that's the thing about randomizers, right? You want to make sure there's a nice hint system in place, otherwise you're just gonna have a bad time. 
I think I think some randomizers can get away without it, but in a game as heavy on checks as DK64, it's just you just need something to help. It's so important. There are plenty of other games that have you know, high quality racing scenes that they just don't need hints at all. It just isn't a, a main part of the meta or whatever. And yeah. it works for them. Yeah, certain games need it more than others, for sure. This is one of those yeah. games. Undoubtedly. And the, the hint system that exists is, you know, just the first draft, right? This yeah. is the, the hint system that, that yeah. we've come up with so far, and there could be more. Big shout-outs to the barrel hitboxes. Yeah, what hitboxes? Exactly. This game was made in a cave with duct tape and possibly Elmer's glue. I don't need that barrel. All that work. Like, we're at a point with Golden Blast Bananas barrels. chat where, like, we have enough where we can basically ignore anything that isn't, like, really fast. Don't care, give it to me. Oh, wait, oh no, well, this, this is Jetpack. This is the jetpack <laughs> Uh, well, I guess hey. we're playing jetpack now. <laughs> <laughs> Got enough medals for it. Here we go. Well, it's a good thing to actually clear because if you don't clear it, Cranky will keep asking you to play it every time you enter Cranky's from now on. So it's a good thing to clear if you think that the time playing it will be uh, shorter than all the times you're saying no. Are you serious? What's the minimum you have to do to have it okay, well. completed? No! Oh. I was not prepared points. to play this game today. We're gonna try again. <laughs> yeah, the uh, the item that comes from this will drop at five thousand points, and the uh, the arcade games, uh, DK Arcade included, have little fun sprites for whatever item it actually is. Instead of I hear it's, it's not the it's not the rare rare coin we've seen that. So what is here? Hmm. Uh, well, you can't hype it up and then back out. You, you, you yeah, do that's why well, we're doing I, it. I simply don't know what it is. I mean, Cranky will tell you before you play Jetpack what it is, but I think it's better if uh, Two Dose just doesn't read that text box. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. Because now we can get box. excited, potentially too excited, and be just let down with disappointed, or our minds blown away. Also, I kind of want to show what the pixel art looks like of items, which are which is kind of cool. Shout out to uh, Bismuth for making all of the pixel art for. Jetpack and arcade in terms of the uh, items. You just stay here points. until you get to one thousand. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah, going to stage is, two. Basically, uh, constantly shooting. Stage two is much harder. Uh, the, the enemy, the enemies that spawn in, in stage two are are much worse. That makes sense. Right. Alright, there's five k. Hey, the golden hey, it's banana. It's a banana. All right. And then once you collect it, you can just leave. A thing of beauty. Don't care. Give it to me. Grape shooter. Hmm. Handy. We. It's not goal mode required. It's not required for goal mode, but we do have it. All right. Next. Um. I guess I'll buy. Mortal Manaz, we still need a few more. <laughs> and one more for the road. Oh, that's a 12 pack. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> I think that's the highest Jeez. things can be in high prices. I'm not entirely sure, though. I think so. Frankie's highway robbery. So that's one of the, like the Kong family to charge their own family to uh, <laughs> yeah, essential things. We saw Funky selling Crusher earlier, so yeah, selling it's a, it's people a like selling Crusher like that that alone is just unthinkably bad and you know i'm thinking like donkey kong country 2 your own grandma charges you to save like what is with the kong family oh here we go 
Swanky Kong can get a pass. You know, he's running a business. He's running a show. Uh, that that makes sense. You can't just you know let everybody in for free when there's actually prizes there. So it's Swanky, my favorite right. mini game. So one of the uh, interesting things with regard to uh, shot prices is there is logic in place to make sure that if you make the worst decisions possible in terms of what moves to buy or what items to buy, um, logic will ensure that no matter what, you will be able to beat the seed, which is very much a, uh, <laughs> a tough technical problem to solve. All right, so we'll do a couple more checks over here, and then we will head to level six because we are starting to get close to the end. And we will need to uh, keep looking for items. I still wanted the arcade to have it. What's my what happened? bananas at? 40, 20. Okay, so this will give me enough for this. Still missing Diddy. 20. Mm. Let's go in here and see if we can get some bananas in here. Oh, nope, 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 that's right. <laughs> So this is another puzzle which is randomized. The uh, <laughs> the uh, placement of the uh, barrels in here is uh, <laughs> in random positions. You monsters. To be honest, to be honest, you could put them in the vanilla positions. I couldn't have told you which ones which anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I, I gotta pick them up anyway. It's my banana cup 20. I think for the sake of moving on, I'm going to not do any of the other glue checks and just go to the next level. Got two more lobbies open. That's uh, ten more hints. Yep. We need to find a hopefully. hint for, hopefully, find a hint for one of the two things we still need. Plus, I don't think you've checked the uh, chunky door in Aztec lobby either. And you have Feather, so you should be able to access it. Yeah. All right, level six. See, we have Fungi Forest, which definitely is a, a bit of a pain to get around when you're just getting used to it. And then Gloomy Galleon. I think those are the two we haven't seen, right? Dude, that banana almost fell off. What the heck? I haven't seen that before. Yep, so Galleon and... Okay, here's Fungi. Chimpy Charge is dead. Galen Cave's dead. No, Wait, the like hint doors stage? in. Wait, what? No, Galleon get inside like the caves areas in Galleon is what it's saying. Right, right. Does that include Cranky's hut? Uh, no, the shops are in a separate pool. 51 to get in the galley, and we knew that. Factory Tiny Mini by Arcade. Yes, I already knew it. Um, that so, bonkers. do you want to? So, do you want to explain what exactly happened happened in this room in regards to like the hint doors? Actually, I'm gonna go back out because I want to check something quick. I'll rock if you want to take it away with that. Right, so normally the, the hint doors in this lobby are on this, like, giant wheel that's on the wall. There's, like, a, a grab pad that you use gorilla grab to, like, rotate the wheel to check the, the doors. But uh, we found that in doing this in, in the vanilla setup, it was very tedious to actually get all your hints. Plus, it's locked behind gorilla grab, which is a move that's, right, and it's not very useful most of the time. So we decided to just decouple the doors as an option to just throw the doors throughout the lobby instead. 
generally makes uh, hints more accessible in that lobby, which is just very, very nice. Oh my gosh, I can get that without doing some crazy trickery. I think. Okay, maybe not. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's only five moments, you'll be able to find them elsewhere. I don't know, these banana spots are really tricky. And for those of you, us uh, who may just be joining, uh, what is still needed before we can beat the seed? Uh, so we are looking for two things. We're looking for Diddy's peanuts and we're looking for vines. We don't have the ability to swing on vines. I kind of hope vines is the go mode item because that's like the one of the most quintessential Donkey Kong abilities is swinging on vines. And not not this time apparently. Until the very All right, fan from earlier. Here's the legendary rainbow coin spot. Yeah, there it is. Oh my god, that crown appeared from nowhere. What the heck? I believe in theory I could skip the vine requirement if I go out of logic. You can. So I really only need peanut pop guns if things are looking a little rough with time, but. Hey, oh, yeah, dot, 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 dot. We found the DK wrap, everybody. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> That's it. Seeds over. <laughs> and it's just interrupted like that. What a cutscene this is. It's it just displayed here, here, a pad with Crusher's face on it. It had a trough and scoff door in a weird spot. It had a vial on the crusher. Like, oh my goodness, everything was going on there all at once. A Standard white vial as well. Donkey Kong 64 gameplay. Yeah, so a white vial, so that could be So they're finally vines, right? here performing for you. Could be actually. If you know the words, you can join, can join in, too. in too. Oh, I need that banana. <laughs> if you want to clap, you'll take you through this, this monkey, monkey rap. rap. CG <laughs> coconut okay. gun, and I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so there is a potion in there, which could in fact be Vine Barrel. But the problem is I can't get that item yet because you need Gorilla Grab. And a slam, I believe. Yeah, Chad, if you can successfully recite the whole DK rap with one person doing one lyric on my end, I'll, I'll give you a round of applause. I bet they can do this better than they can do counting. Yeah. <laughs> they can make up for the counting. Gosh. There we go. So yeah, if that is vines, there's two extra things that two days will need. He'll need the uh, Super Simeon Slam upgrade, and he'll also need Gorilla Grab. Um, the Super Simeon Slam shouldn't be too hard to find, because there's uh, two upgrades, and he only needs one of them for it. Uh, Gorilla Grab might be pretty tough to find, though, if that is indeed uh, Vine Swinging. However, there are a lot of other shared vial moves that would be totally useless to find. There's a number of instrument upgrades, uh, there's some ammo belts, uh, that could be the camera. So it's more likely than not that that's not what he's looking for, but just something to keep in mind. Yeah, it's definitely not worth him now going to push for the uh, locations of the uh, slam and the uh, grab upgrades because as Elbrook said, pretty unlikely that it'll be uh, it'll be a uh, vine swing. It is by no means a done deal. I swear, whenever I randomize music, it always seems like the night in Fungi Forest has more intense music than the day. Yeah, look look how intense this place is. There's bats <laughs> everywhere. Um, there's golden beavers apparently. Can 
check. You can do some checks in here. So I can't get this check, but I can peek it. Oh, no, I can't. I don't have Simeon or Super Simeon Slam. Rip. I don't have any banana counts at. 15, 10. So, okay. Somehow, I keep reading about the slam moves that I need to actually access those. What's over the here? Slam shuffler. The slam shuffler claims another one of us. <laughs> I think there's going to end up being 10 DK bananas here. Maybe a little less. I could potentially get another item if I do this. So I think it's worth And I will. That's enough. Golden banana. All right, let's get to the top here. Golden banana. Just jerk. I can't do that, check. <laughs> I am bad at video games. I'm not bad. <laughs> it's it's right. fine. It's nothing. Don't worry about it. All right. Down here, there's a check. Another... Baboon, baboon Blast. This is the... Well, right, Baboon Blast in fun. the area is a battle crown. <laughs> this one actually looks good. Barry Bonds is not present in this battle right now. What? Uh, <laughs> Hello? The toy monster claims another soul. <laughs> I guess so. Done me in when I least expected it, I guess. Alright, the patented keep away from me, you ding dongs, by just mashing B and running with Chunky. <laughs> uh, numerous uh, strategies have evolved from the, uh, the various uh, crown enemies that can be here. The uh, punch everyone, classic. <laughs> the run in circles for 30 seconds, also a special. The whale on the kosha until he stops hitting you is also a classic. A lot of approaches to these crowns. There's a lot of nuance in Donkey Kong 64. The combat is extensive. Someone in the chat asked, is there a community for DK64 randomizer? The answer to that question is a resounding yes. All I need to do is go to dk64randomizer.com and join the Discord on that website. It's that easy. It's so easy, a Lanky Kong could do it. <laughs> right here? Oh? Never had that Kong. Uh, Crusher? Must have been the wind. You know what? Yeah, yeah, Crusher Kong. That's right. Russia. I'm not sure where that name came from, anyway. Hey! Ooh. So we are in, well, out of logic go mode. <laughs> Most Lego mode. All right, so let's... I'm trying to think of where a portal is. I know where a portal was. It's kind of in a funny spot. This music is stressing me out, Tudos. <laughs> it's, uh... It's the, this is the Beetle Race music? Yeah. This is the Beetle uh, Race so music. This is, uh, this is stressful. That Beetle Race is a wreck. 
All right. Uh, back to the calm, soothing tones of the intro story. <laughs> God, every time you go I'm, through these trough and scoff things, I, I'm just hungry. I'm gonna go get a snack. I missed the DK rap already. <laughs> so an interesting uh, change that we made to this room is that in the vanilla game, uh, you feed uh, Scoff the uh, hippo once every four frames, which takes a stupidly long amount of time. So we changed it so that it was four times as fast, and thankfully it doesn't take forever anymore. It doesn't take forever, and people still won't do it. It's unbelievable. That's, it's still that slow. <laughs> four times faster, and you're sitting there at home, you're looking at that and you're like, man, that's taking forever for him to eat. And that's sped up four times from the vanilla game. <laughs> I think in the vanilla game, you spend 11 minutes uh, in uh, glitchless runs just watching Scoff eat bananas. Wow. I shudder to think of how long you spend in cutscenes. I used to do glitchless runs too. I'm scared about how many times I've just sat on that cutscene in my life. I, I do not want to know what that number is. Rareware has consumed our lives, but it was worth it because we got DK64. Randomizer.com. That too. Gosh dang it. <laughs> <laughs> I've had a number of guests on my on my show, and you you three take the cake at the, the selling out. It's it's pretty impressive. Well done, like. That's commendable. Well done. <laughs> if you think that's well done, they say well done a lot in DK64. <laughs> Did you know that DK64 has a randomizer? DK64. Is dot com run? at the end of it. Dot com. <laughs> So this guy is sped up actually in two different ways. He only has three phases still. Actually, no, wait, I think he always has three phases. Yeah, he has three phases before, but you only have to hit him twice in each phase instead of hitting him three times. And um, little known fact, there's a secret fourth phase that there's a hard bosses toggle for DK64 Random Master. I don't have that on right now, but you can see that secret fourth phase, fourth phase if you have hard bosses on. What would he even do? Um... There's only one to way to find out. Go to dk6randomizer.com, <laughs> make your own seat. <laughs> um, but um, it, it's it's arguably harder than the third phase. I think it's easier, but yeah, some people think it's easier. easier. All right, so key six. So, 57 gold bananas. We technically have enough blueprints to get 60, but we are going to go to the last level because we want to see if there's any hints that will lead us to Vine Barrel. Um, <laughs> at this point, we are basically... I, I consider it my go, my go mode because I can skip the vines part. But for the sake I'm planning on a little more time, I will see if we can find where the Vine Barrel is. I... Uh... Love the uh, change to the UI of changing everything to dk64randomizer.com. There's just a little <laughs> bit of flair to all that. There's the, the, the exit portals, the, the transitions where it, it shifts to... Uh, it's not DK. If, you pay, if you're paying attention, it shifts to a, a different character. Oh, look at that. There's your peanuts. <laughs> yeah, there's the peanut hint. That was the display on the high platform of the giant mushroom. Gallon Shops is dead. Gallon Caves is also dead here. We'll move him. Five Door Temple is dead. We know that. Where's our Vine Hint game? Please. Have you ever had a seed quite like this? Where you just never find vines? I don't believe so, actually. I think this is the first time I've ever played a vineless seed. 
I all actually was kind right, of hoping for a seed that would give me fairy camera wide away, because then I would do all the fairy stuff. That's always a good time. I remember I don't have super or super duper simian slam, so I can't really hit those switches. I'm not gonna plan on it. Yeah, don't worry, everybody watching. Like, we will find where these are. If we don't get it during the run, we do have access to a spoiler log. But you'll look that up for you and see where the vines were hiding. The most basic where? thing a monkey and media can do is swing across uh, they're pro vines. I, I'm pretty sure the vines are over there. I'm pointing at them right now. Okay. Pointing yeah, at the too. screen, it's right there. <laughs> All right, so... Another thing we did for kind of quality of life things is that you all had to open these doors one at a time and they'd give you a timer. Um, we just have these open constantly. Like you can play it once and it just stays open. That's so so nice. it's a lot more convenient. Yeah, it, it, it helps to like check multiple at once because otherwise you have to like go in, you leave, the door closes, then you're gonna go back to the cactus, play another instrument, go in, leave, the door closes, go back to the instrument, cactus, yada yada. Uh, it's a mess. Yeah, I did a 101% playthrough of this a couple months ago, and the question I always had playing it was, why is this a timer? Why is there a timer here? There's so many timers for situations where it doesn't make sense to have a timer, but they just have it for reasons. Yeah, sounds sometimes about right. the timer. Sometimes the timer will go away if you tag too. So it's like, no, you have to be the right Kong. The, the game is very mad at you unless you unless you are specifically the correct Kong, like the Mechfish. If you play the instrument as Diddy and start the timer for the Mechfish, if you tag, the Mechfish will just go away. You just you just can't do it. It's ridiculous, ridiculous things like that that really make you really make you scratch your head sometimes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the whole timer situation is also like. It's very bizarre because half the time the timer isn't even really hard to like beat in any way. So there's no real reason for it because regardless of whether the timer is there or not, it's the same challenge. Just so another yeah, minor they put annoyance there, that we get rid like, of. Yeah, I wonder if like they put it there originally because like, oh, the player's going to get lost, so we're going to put this on a timer so they're forced to go here when they hit the switch rather than forgetting about it later. It could I, also, that maybe, I'm trying to give them the benefit me. of the, the doubt, but yeah, it's baffling. Well, it makes sense if you're trying to like really hard restrict and make sure the right Kong is in the right room, but it's a little overboard at times. And it's not like the wrong Kong in the wrong spot can do anything. It, most everything is just not collectible by the wrong Kong, unless you have the free trade agreement on that we do. All right, so fun fact about the five door ship is real in reality, the five door ship is just two rooms. Um, and then Diddy, Chunky, Lanky is in one room. They're just divided up, like with these walls in here. So I can see the blueprint there. I can see the check in there is just a rainbow coin. And then if you peek in here, you can see what the golden banana is on the bed that Lanky normally gets, which was just a golden banana. So I just checked three checks right there. I don't even get any of them. Definitely love that feature that we added to uh, have whatever sprite or whatever item the bonus barrels have, we just have it floating there. It's a really good one. Yeah, beforehand, the <laughs> meta in terms of settings that you'd have uh, was solely just to have autocomplete bonus barrels on, which will uh, beat the minigame for you uh, so you don't have to do it and you get the reward. Oh, that was a fake! <laughs> <laughs> Underwater ice traps. Do not ask how that makes sense. <laughs> but 
it again. I actually knew that was fake because it was spinning in the opposite direction. It was a slightly green one. I just wanted to see the animation again. It's a gold banana, don't care. Yeah, it's really funny that we, like, auto-complete bonus barrels was, like, the racing meta. For well, a because, bit. Like, <laughs> and now it's yeah, not. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, it mattered. What what the problem was is that you didn't know what you were going to get at the end of the game. So if you did your 122nd Mad Maze Mall or whatever and got a banana medal for it, you were just, well, that was just a total waste of time. However, if you did your 122nd Mad Maze Mall and got vines out of it, you're a very happy camper. It was a little, a little too swingy. But now you can see that, oh, I'm getting a vial out of this. You don't know what move it might be, but <laughs> the, move, the move may matter, so it's worth doing. So what El Rock is saying, basically two dice, is find her 120 second month may small, and you'll have your in logic go mode. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That sounds about right. This, do you have pearls in the pool? No, pearls are not in the randomizer pool. Oh, man. You can shuffle in the, the pearls that are in this treasure chest into the pool, and you can find pearls out in the world. You also find the bean that grows the magic bean stalk in Fungi Forest, and you can get beaned. Too bad it's dead, this seed. Rest in peace. Unfortunate. Yeah, that sure treasure chest... Did. Uh, if you have pearls in the pool, becomes a real treasure chest where, honestly, most of the time you're just going to find five gold bananas, but it could have, for instance, a go mode move. I've seen like two vials at once in there, and it was just an absolute jackpot. Yeah. That said, the items in here are perhaps the kings of bad hit detection. Oh, yep, you get bonked by the clam for whatever reason. Yep, you just swim right through it and you don't pick it up. That's, ooh, that's vintage DK64. <laughs> that, that, this is a classic <laughs> DK64 room right here, chat. That is finely aged. <laughs> Alright, I'm zero for two and getting the first try. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hello? I don't even know where you are anymore. <laughs> oh, okay, I guess that worked. <laughs> so the way that the game works is the uh, hit detection for items is at the bottom of the object. The one thing the uh, devs forgot to do is to scale the hitbox uh, with the scale of the object. So regardless of how big the pearl is, whether it is two millimeters in diameter or five light years in diameter, it will still have the same hitbox size. This game was made in a cave with duct tape and possibly Elmer's glue. <laughs> a lot of mileage out of that. We get a mileage out of it because her prime examples of it come up so often. <laughs> but we love it. We love this game. Yeah, I will say, as much as we do dunk on DK64, DK64 is it pretty much the greatest game that it has ever been. Yeah, it's true. And, and it's tough this to is the, This is the peak of all randomizers as well. In no other then. randomizer <laughs> could you free Chunky Kong in Jungle Japes whilst hearing the DK rap. <laughs> you, you just can't do it. Just, Nobody else has got it. Just a quick thing to throw out there, this switch on the ship here is you can't actually change the color because of technical issues. So that's the reason why that one's not red. 
I believe it's because, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Dom, I believe it's because the switch is just a part of the whole ship. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. So, from the base aspect, yeah, we can change how the switch behaves. But in terms of looks, it will always be green. And so I figured it's probably best if we just keep it consistent to how it looks. Oh, well, what, what, the, what did Chunky do? Did he drink too much? Oh, no. <laughs> I guess so. This is Mon monkeys, the... uh, monkeys don't have their sea legs under them. He's um, struggling. We can actually grab that gold banana without going into seasickness mode. But I want to do seasickness mode for to see what it looked like when Disco Funky had it. So, can't go in there. And of course, I'm one ditty banana short. Big sad. There's probably some kind of banana somewhere, like right there. Speak it into existence, and you get a fairy for it. So to clarify, that fairy was for getting the uh, medal reward, rather than the uh, banana. As a reminder, everybody, you're currently watching the GDQ Hotfix. Many of you may be more familiar with our you know, main speedrunning events at GDQ and at GDQ every year, but... Every single day, well, oh, I want to say every day, almost every day of the year, we have a whole bunch of speedrunning and variety shows like the one you're watching right now, Game Masters, supposed to buy yours truly. So, you know, if you like speedrunning, you know, be sure to stick around. There's going to be wonderful stuff all year long. Oh, okay. All right. So we're going to do a couple more quick checks here. Um, and like I said, I, I'm not going to do that quite yet. Um, I can fight the final boss now. Um, this was just a short seed, so I'm just trying to kill a little bit of time here so we can find the actual go mode, I guess, uh, item that we're still missing. Where are those blasted vines? Wait, it's always the vines. <laughs> it's funny that it's, it's, it's always the vines was a, a good bit from a... Uh, from, uh, earlier development when we ran into so many issues on vines being just not functioning properly <laughs> just trying the connection between going from vine to vine was just proving impossible between platforms and it was just a total wreck it's always the vines it was it was always the vines for so long yeah and the way we fixed it was literally just recalculating where vines should be just so they were placed better <laughs> that was not the first fix either. There were <laughs> many attempts. Yeah, we tried increasing the exit speeds and just so many things that always ended up with some bizarre side effect that we'd have to go, okay, let's re revert the idea. <laughs> the vines were too weak, and then at some point they became too strong and people were overshooting things, and it was like, well, okay, wait a minute. <laughs> There's no winning. I'm curious to see how you skip the vines here. It's got to be some sort of like orange thing. My guess is this. Yeah, as long as you the, have uh, orange throw, you can skip the vines. Wow. My guess is it's going to be hinted behind the uh, Astaclopi uh, chunky door. Oh, of course. boost here with an extra bridge. Yeah, don't be worry about what you're about to see. It's just if it's here, I'm gonna play. laugh. <laughs> There's no way, right? Okay, cool. That would have been something. Okay, let's see if I'm going to do this. Nope. Too far. You can just, you can just twirl. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna twirl. I just wanted to be cool, you know? Don't we all? I guess I could have just used that as a damage boost. Okay, 
now he's not gonna do it. Boy, the, 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 the chase of the ages. <laughs> All right, oh, so and you we're do that. Through. Look at that. And then you have to backflip. There we go. So, Elok or Bolo, do you have access to the spoiler lock for this seed? Uh, two dates would have to give us access, or Seagull, who is a uh, another developer. Seagull, you can post where vines were in the dev room if you'd like now, if you're watching. Yeah, let's get that. We'll, we'll reveal it during the K roll fight. Where were they? And were they hinted behind that chunky door in Angry Aztec? Welcome to bonus stage. All right, so Hideout Helm's a little bit different for Randomizer compared to the vanilla game. Um, as you can see, we started off right in the Blastomatic room instead of having to go through a bunch of random obstacles at the beginning, just speeds things up a bit. And then we have three random Kong selected to actually shut down the Blastomatic instead of all of them. So you have to do a little mini game gauntlet to finish the seed. Yeah, but it obviously it includes more. Oh my gosh, a repeat. Wow. And then followed up with a final boss. This actually it's not a repeat, this is an easier version. So the next one is Diddy. Now this is a hideout music. Although the I God. must say that the hi the hideout helm theme is like that's got to be one of my favorite video game tracks like ever. That that tune is a just a jam. There's so much good music in this game. Mm -hmm. Set up before, but again, shouts to Grand Kirko. To oh boy! Oh, no! 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 <laughs> Every single time you go into one of these mini games, like, oh yeah. Oh, it's the Kaizo one, too. <laughs> Gotta find the pattern. Can't let one escape. If one escapes, no. that's minus 10 seconds. Oh, nope. Oh, oh not there. Oh, one escape. Here's, no. here's the one that's minus 10 seconds. Oh, there we go. Oh, never mind. I refuse to believe that the swatter has an actual hit. Well done! Wow. That was impressive, Tudos. The unfortunate thing is that uh, the Swatter hitbox is only active for a frame or two. What? So it's really, like, it's stupidly precise in that regard. Um, I guess while I'm in Helm, I actually want to follow up on one of Fant's earlier questions. Can you be a barrel in this game? Well, you kind of can. Um, I didn't find one, but there is a beaver bottle. Obviously, everyone knows about beaver bottle, right? Um, we not? have it so that your model and beaver bottle can be a ton of different things. Um, unfortunately, we didn't find one, so I... Well, I guess I could look at the spoiler log and find out where one is. But... You can be a still lot too of many games, right? <laughs> they, they, you can't have Beaver Bob in Helm because I feel like there would be pitchforks and torches out to get us <laughs> if we Imagine did that. you're 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 in a race. You're in go mode. There are seven minutes on the timer. You enter this bonus barrel. It's oh Beaver Oh my god! <laughs> you cry in agony as you have seven it's minutes to It's the Kaisel one Bother. again. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, come on, baby. I got a pattern. I got the pattern. I got the strat. Aw, oh, rip. Well done. All right, will I get another? 
Surely not. I want to see the 120 second. Okay. Game. <laughs> Maybe not. I didn't want to say it. But there are mini games that require vines as well, but we dodged them all, fortunately. <laughs> yeah, if we would have gotten the vines wing uh, speedy swing sorties, then well. <laughs> Yeah, that would have been a that would have been a tragedy. This is why you can't you, can, you can't tempt fate too much in Helm. There are a couple mini games that will just absolutely roast you. There's a couple twirl required mini games, and if you don't have twirl but tiny's in your Helm, you are sweating bullets in Tiny's room. Uh, there's some rock or there's some rocket barrel and peanut mini games for Diddy, but you need rocket barrel to get to his room, so it's not too bad usually. Uh, there's punch required punch and hunky chunky required games. So if chunky's not your K rule but is in helm, <laughs> you might you might get got. <laughs> helm is not necessarily a sure thing just due to the, the random nature of mini games. That being said, if you do want to kind of remove that random nature, um, you can set helm to skip all, which means that you bypass all the mini games. And you spawn in this room, which Tudos is in right now. Just another way to like speed up seeds as well. Yeah. If you want to put your if you put your key eight in helm. Uh, something we also so did. So. We actually have the Kongs that fight K rule on this back door here. If you never find the hints. So there's your key eight in helm. That's a. Uh, an option. You can have your key in helm. If you chose to, you can shuffle all your keys anywhere in the world. You can have a Kasplat that drops a key. You can have a bone spell that drops a key. All right, here we go. The final fight. Somehow an entire wrestling arena located in K. Rule's ship. Because why not? Complete with audience. Where do they come from? Doesn't matter. Th this Zilla, you can see. There, there I am, right there. No, oh, that, That's you, <laughs> Chad. You're there. This is the visual representation <laughs> of everybody. All right, Chad, pull, right pull yourself out. Where are you in the audience? Yeah. yeah, tell us where you're at. Uh, unfortunately, the tiny phase is quite long. We did do some things to speed it up here. So uh, uh, normally you have to... You normally have to do four phases, but we actually combined phases one and two and three and four together, so it's effectively only two phases instead of four. So we sped up pretty significantly. Look, if, if your toes can do this, you, you're a very special person. Congratulations. I don't care how gross your toes are, you can do that, that's <laughs> impressive. Yeah, that's, that's impressive. <laughs> Just if, they, if they're colored that, you may need to go see a doctor. As we work our way through K. Rule, it's time to dramatically reveal the location of vines. And let me tell you what, these are buried. These are <laughs> thoroughly buried. Let's have it. So your your vines are in level six. They are in forest. It is the tiny mushroom. It is the bonus barrel inside of the mushroom with tiny. And I mean, to be fair, I tried to do that one, except I didn't have Simeon Slam, Super Simeon Slam at the time. Okay, we gotta go deeper now. Where, where, where's that? Those slams, you have two options. You could go for the Kasplat under the Owl Tree, also in Forest, which is Great Block. Could have gone there. Or run back to Japes and go get Lanky's Banana Metal. Jeez. Oh, you mean Crush's yeah, Banana so. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Crush's Banana Metal. Let's do um, but the trick I did to get into Helm without vines is technically would be race legal. It's something to think about. Yeah, that's a that's a neat little trick. I'm gonna keep that in my back pocket when I don't have vines. <laughs> I hope I hope that never happens. Yeah, there's a lot of interesting tricks you can use to skip a requirement that. We don't have in logic, but it is technically glitchless, so it's allowed. Um, especially some interesting ones with uh, Tag Anywhere. Some Tag Anywhere ones, damage boosting usually is not accounted for in logic, but you can just do it because it's not, not anything special. Oh, we skipped that cutscene now. <laughs> Oh, 
All right, time's coming up here pretty shortly. Uh, there's another phase. Oh, there is? Oh, yeah, there's DK Chucky. phase, duh. Oh. I mean, DK that phase, phase is kind of yeah. short. <laughs> We don't. We don't end on. Uh, we don't always end on chunky phase. For a while, it just did it because the chunky phase triggered the credits. That's what it always ended on. But now it doesn't anymore. You can end on any K rule phase. So. so three quick blasts with DK, and that's done. It's fitting that DK finally gets to be the one that finishes him off. Now time is coming up. Just two more hits. And time. GG's. GG's. Well that was an adventure. That, that sure was an adventure. Thank you so much. Every every <laughs> one of these scenes is an adventure. And you can play your own at dk64randomizer.com. There it is. There it is. I was waiting for it. I didn't want to prompt <laughs> it, but yes. If you were not scared away by the presentation today, try it out yourself. You, you may have a good time. You may not have a good time. Well, how are you going to know if you don't try it out, right? Uh, so do I have time to show off one more thing? It'll only be like a minute or two. Yeah, Sweet. yeah, go ahead. All right. I'm scared what it is, but. Okay. Here's the boot sequence of DK Rando, by the way. It cuts out all the beginning part. <laughs> replaces it with a uh, era appropriate intro very good wonderful all right while i'm heading over here any final shout outs yeah go ahead you know let, let's start with balam um, as always, shout outs to the rest of the uh, DK64 randomizer dev team. Uh, some are in here with uh, Two Days and Elrock, but we have uh, Kilkley, Almost Seagull, Shadow Shines, Nernicus, Bismuth, Sea Fox. Um, probably one or two that I'm forgetting off the top of my head, but shout outs to everyone. This randomizer would be nowhere without every single member in this team. Oh, by the way, this has a fake golden banana in it. That's a sprite for it. <laughs> Wonderful. All right, I was hoping to find this because we have oh, a one sprite. Right. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I've not seen this one before. A, <laughs> this, is a, so, this is so good. There's a great collection of models just ripped from the game that can that you can replace claptrap with, and it still functions the same. It's just it just looks ridiculous. And then I also wanted to do beaver bother because we did, in fact, make it less stupid by putting golden beavers that are worth two into beaver bother. That makes so much sense. And they're, they're still annoying. The... Get in uh, there. Go. Oh, it's annoying. Oh, my I believe God. That was a, I believe this was a, a community suggestion at some point. I don't, I don't recall who came up with this idea, but it's one of those. Uh, it's, the, it's the community that really makes this, this game so great. Uh, so shout outs to, to everyone in the Discord. Oh, shoot. Coming up with crazy, <laughs> coming up with uh, <laughs> wild and crazy ideas that we can can chew over and try and make happen. Here again, here is the fake golden banana spinning in the opposite direction and is slightly green. I compared it to the one there, but I accidentally grabbed it. So if I grab this, 
Oops. <laughs> Thank you so much for showing up. Now, moving on with shoutouts, because we do have another show coming up, but I want to give it to you uh, last two a chance to talk about things as well. If you want to talk about DK64 randomizer.com, that, that's fine. Uh, L Rock, let's let's go with you next. Uh, yeah, just uh, again, shout outs to the, the community for coming up with crazy ideas. Some of these things that have, have been worked through the pipeline have, have made their way into there just because they were just just cool ideas. People when people when, there's so much to shuffle in this game that people have come up with some cool ideas to to, to come up with. And you know, shout out to everyone in the Discord. Y'all are cool. Keep donking. Uh, also, shout out to uh, Spike and Kuiper for running this on uh, previous shows. And I believe I I think Spike's doing doing DK64 randomizer again at some point on on a hotfix sometime down the line. I don't remember where though. Yeah, that's going to be on What's Faster this Friday, which is a little bit of a different context. That show features two completely different speedruns mashed together to see you know, which one's faster. It's always a chaotic good time. <laughs> now, last but not least, Tudos, I want to give you a chance to shout out yourself. Uh, just a big shout out to like basically anyone who contributed to DK64 Randomizers. This is an open source project, so like... Not just the developers, not just those guys contributed. It was just like all the testers, anyone who like put in the hours, like just beta test games for us. Like all those people, like there's way too many to count. I just want to shout those people out too, because like without people beta testing this, testing like our really stupid features that we put in to try to throw people off, like this wouldn't even be possible. Like this randomizer has come so far in so little time. It's I just huge shout outs to those people who just even like helped us test the game and to get to the see where it's at right now so thank you very much and thank you all so much for coming on game masters today give us a huge amount of insight into the randomizer and it was truly fascinating this is you know i don't say this lightly probably one of the most well-developed randomizers i've seen with the amount of care and effort that's been put into it and it shows i think the audience can see that and i look forward to seeing how the development progresses because it seems like you're far from done uh, from just working on a period, so just yeah, absolutely. The, the a lot of good things right, to come. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The development never stops. I believe uh, <laughs> Valum and I both have a a slew of fixes in the pipeline as we sort of we sort of held off on changes waiting for the show. So we gotta <laughs> gotta get a couple of fixes in <laughs> coming I, up. I literally awesome. have a pull request, which is nine thousand lines of changes waiting. Oh jeez. <laughs> Uh, lots of work in the future. Well, thank you. Thanks again so much. And one last time, check out dk64randomizer.com if you want to give this a shot to yourself. And if you're watching on YouTube, be sure to press the like button on this video and subscribe to the channel. Also go to twitch.tv slash gamesdonequick if you're interested in looking at our live content starting weeknights at 7 p.m. Eastern and weekends at 1 p.m. Eastern. But everybody, although Game Masters is done, Hotfix is not over for the evening because after a short break, Time Capsule, smooth, hosted by Smooth Operative, is going to be coming up next, focusing on the year 2004. See you all next time. DK64randomizer.com. <laughs>